So, Geary, you find yourself waking up in the tavern that you decided to spend the night in. Now, I will fill you in a tiny bit because you were not here at the end of the last session. Mm-hmm. What ended up happening is you guys gave the vials to Elro, and he was going to go do some research on it, and you all decided to stay in the tavern for the night, the one that you found Irvin. So here you are waking up. Would you like to leave the room, or would you like to do something before leaving? Um, anything? Can I investigate the room for anything useful? Uh, you can. Inv- sure, roll an investigation check. Okay. Um. Ooh, negative three. <laughs> Eight. So, from what you can see, all there's just a plain table with a lantern on it, a chair. And a neat little carpet right underneath your feet near the bed, but nothing of use. Okay, <clears throat> I'll leave the room. Invest in the chair. Shut, <laughs> shut the fuck up! We're not making a chair situation. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Burn in hell! Oh Brody! Oh Brody! It's happened again. Okay, what? The story you were telling us with the with the chair. Uh, that, was, that was Will. That was Will talking. Yeah. So as you come out, you see a just the hallway. Would you like to advance further? What's to my left? To your left. As you peer out a little bit to see what's ahead of you, and what you could see, you could see about up to there, and up to there. I'm the only one in this building, right? Uh, party of the party? Yes. Okay. Is it? Is there any noise? Can I hear any noise? Or is it just dead quiet? Because it looks relatively you, dark. You can, you can hear the very faint breathing of a person. Like, you can tell someone is there, but it's not. You also do occasionally hear a broom being swept. Do I know, can I tell where it's coming from? Uh, you can tell it's coming from the room to your south. Okay, and I go to that room. So a- as you go down, you enter the main body of the tavern. Okay. As you're there, you see Elro near a table sweeping up shards of broken glass. Does he see me? Uh, he does not. He is too fixated on his cleaning up the mess that was caused. <clears throat> uh, can I roll an invest? Uh, what check would it be to look at the glass? Uh, perception. Perception. Okay, I roll a perception check to see if I can tell if it's the vial glass. Ooh, seventeen. 17. So from what you can tell from the glass, you see slight bits of oil and almost like a candle also in, like scattered across the floor. And you're also able to see that the table it's next to is missing its tablecloth. Oh no, I heard someone <laughs> chuckle. <clears throat> uh, okay, I'll confront Elro, ask him what happened. How would you like to say that? <clears throat> Elro, is there seeming to be a problem? I noticed the glass on the floor. Mm. <laughs> I don't like your chuckle either. <laughs> he kind of looks at, up at you with dead eyes and just says, it, It's been a long day. Explain. That's it. It's okay. <laughs> Are you the last of your are you the last of your party to wake up? <coughs> it seems that way. Do you know where they went? Well, the rest of them went hunting Ergon's vault, making a mess of this place in the process. I stayed back just to inform people like you where they were going. Hmm. Could you what what mess did they make? I could help if you 
gave me an idea. You know how to clean blood off of wood. Oh. That is not my department. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that is what I thought. And with that, he kind of just goes back to sweeping. And desperately trying to clean the what mess made. Darts do? <laughs> As you now look towards more the northbound part of the room, you kind of see blood just on the wall <laughs> and stab marks in parts of the wall. Joseph, Joseph no questions asked. No questions asked. El- Elro, may I, may I please get an idea of, of what exactly fucking happened? Well, you see, there's this one royal who looks over our trade routes. If I remember correctly, they go by the name of... Second. It's the royal family Dagod. Not sure if you've heard of them. The son, or one of the heirs to the family, came in trying to collect taxes and find the vaults, and, uh... I had to convince one of your shorter friends to not kill him. I'm guessing that didn't go well. I think he's alive? They could have killed him for all I know. Wait. Sorry, who's almost dead? The... The person, the son who tried to collect taxes. Good lord. Did they kidnap him? I don't want any involvement with it, so as soon as I convinced him to spare him, I left. <sighs> well, and with, with one more defeated sigh, a victorious but brutally injured party <laughs> walks through the door. Oh no! <laughs> Go! Before you fuck say anything, I look at, I look at all. How many of us? How many? How many are you guys all here? Three. Yeah. Uh, four tall. No. Wait. No, what? it's us three. What four, did including you, three you Joseph. Fucks. Dude, oh, we robbed the vault and someone died. Oh, what did you get? Uh, <clears throat> hold up. Can I? <laughs> I seem to have no, woken no, no, up no, no, with no. this. Can I please plate mail. move my wand? Go ahead. And what? <laughs> let, let, let me. Uh, let, let me set this up a tiny bit, just so I can. <laughs> talk to you I forgot what your thing did. Well, I honestly First of don't. All, care. I wake up with this fucking ocean floored mail, and now you idiots are killing people in a There's tavern. Dead. The ocean floor mail you have yet to acquire, but Ethan might give that to oh. you. Well, no, I, Brady, I can, have it. Can I, I ask you real it. quick? I, I'm more of just saying just metagame a little bit. Oh, you okay, don't okay. have it. You can get it, though. Um, metagame, can I ask something real quick? What's up? Were we supposed to reset our spell slots and no. No. our health? No. Okay, only, that's I have, all. only I have. <laughs> but it's not, it's not that big of a deal if you did. It sucks, I'm assuming but it's not that going big of a deal. I'm assuming you're going to. Or... Not right now. Right now it's like oh. midday. Joseph just woke up. Okay, okay. Back, in. back in character. Okay, you, uh, so it seems like you guys all got something. I'm sorry, I'm grumpy. I'm just tired. What? I, lo- I see that the dwarf, get, Nornik, you got armor. What is what is it doing? It's smoking. <laughs> it's smoking. It's smoking oh, hot, oh. just like me. <laughs> Are they well, what, would you like, what, would you, what would you like to say as you start waving your wand around throughout the air? Uh, or would you just like to start waving it with no, no warning? Waving it without warning? Hold up. Okay. Are you playing it? Wait, are you playing a song? Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got okay, it. Okay, good, 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 because I was going to try to find a song that I was... Not... So, as you see Azriel walk through the door, he pulls out a wand from his little pouch, and he starts waving it through the air. As he starts waving oh, it, I'm scared. You start hearing orchestra music slowly play in the background. Turn up your rhythm if you can't hear it. I, I can hear it. It's, it's <laughs> bugged for peaceful. me. It's very bugged for me. It went... That was not my goal. I did not need to leave. 
There you go. So as Will waves his wand of copyright strike. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you love some tunes. We got tunes. Asriel, this is a very pretty song, but please explain. Uh, okay, so, <clears throat> long story short. We get to the vault, right? This guy, Ymir, he's kind of vibing. And he sees the treasure, he goes through, and then the fucking suit of armor fucking chops off his head. And we're like, oh shit. And we're struggling. Uh, we decided not to combat it until uh, uh, Nornik here decided to throw a fucking dagger at it. A dagger at a suit of armor. Um, anyway, uh, fucking Wraith finds... I flipped Nornik off. <laughs> Ra Wraith said there was something in the corner room, got it. Fucking magic wand that plays music, dude. It's well, you all seem to have gotten something special. What did Wraith get? A dildo. Uh, I pull out my uh, you know what? No, no, no. I, I pull out my uh, my scimitar, or what is it? The the moon touch uh, scimitar. Yeah. And I uh, it. and I I unsheath it and I cast the light towards no, the okay. dark corner of the room. Okay, so the, uh, no, I'll explain how this works. Or how does it work? Okay. So. Geary, as you kind of glance over to Wraith, trying to figure out what items he's acquired, I see him pull out he, pull, the scimitar and I'm he pulls out a scimitar that is just glowing pure white. As he pulls it out, just a aura of light is emanating from it, lighting the area he's in is it, much is more it than light? the rest of the room. No, it is just normal light. Fuck. Is it? Isn't it only on one side, or is it on both? Actually, no, it's on both. It's like it's like a torch. It's like a lightsaber. Yeah, oh, okay. but not <laughs> lightsaber, but only for the light. You're the... <laughs> it's a lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. <laughs> it is Sorry, a lightsaber. <clears throat> so I, I see the I see his light sword and still it's just a light sword. Still, I'm still I'm still a little grumpy because I'm just waking up. Very long rest. No, like I I see your um. Are, are you okay? <laughs> you look a little, uh, smoky? Don't worry about it. Also, here, I got you this. I walk up to him and place the, uh, the plate armor right in front of him. Uh, quickly, th this armor is covered in, like, barnacles, right? Uh, just let me... I don't think so. I think it, it's... Like... It, it, it... It's the it will stop playing the music. <laughs> yes, I, I mean, the I'm music's not, not turning off. I'm not stopping <laughs> moving my arm, okay? <laughs> no, it, no, you can't, you can't, no, it's not, it's not that you have to constantly, do. you wave your wand, and then there's just music. Will's just jerking <laughs> it right now. Dude, I get to vibe with my fucking wand. I don't even see how this is gonna work in an actual thing, but, you know what? It could be however you like it to look, but it's gonna okay. be ocean themed. I'll, I'll just say it has a wavy design on it. Very beautiful, beautiful uh, weird ocean weird. design. Isn't it called the Mariner's Scale Armor? Plate, Mariner's Plate. There's no such thing as the Mariner's Actually, Mariner's meta plate. question, Birdie. Are there going to be characters who are weaker to, like, uh, magic than to physical, or weaker to physical than magic? Like, yeah, is that going to be yeah, something yeah, we're going to have easy, to look out for? Okay, easy. okay, because yeah, that's no, not been the thing so far, so I don't armor. know what the, like, there's if there's a drawback to using one thing or the other. Wait, did you get the did you get the plate or the scale uh, mail? Plate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, after a quick armor exchange and a sigh from behind I, I, you, I, as I put the armor, I can feel it lowers my walking speed by ten. I feel it. I feel okay. denser, but I feel slower. And you kind of just. Hear a faint just <sighs> from the back of the room as Elro is now learning that Emir has died. For Emir. It was Ymir not was our just... fault. We Horrible. tried to stop Ymir, him. Emir was the the tax guy, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Elro, I'm seriously very sorry for what they did with Shut Ymir. the fuck Hey. I'm trying to be Wait. nice, okay? Yeah, but we didn't fucking kill him. He killed himself. He okay, doesn't know. know that. Well, I'm telling him now. He killed oh. himself. Okay, well, I Dude, didn't know that either, by the way. Can I, can I say something out of game real quick? What? 
<laughs> OG had a game today, and they lost. Do you know why they lost? Why are you talking mm -hmm. about Dota? On a chronoed uh, fountain, and got a double kill and died inside fountain, and then they ended. Fountain was fountain of harmony and got too cocky. Oh my god. Let's continue. So, so you hear Elro pipe up from the back of the room, well... <laughs> Well, now that you're all here, I might as well offer you all another quest if you don't mind. Sure, why not? What? What's up? What's up now? Uh, I mimic oh. Ethan saying, or oh. I mimic uh, whatever his name is. Sure, that's all right. <laughs> what? what? Uh, sorry, real quick. Uh, Wraith and Azrael just got sent to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> oh, okay. Hog, I like it. I like it. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Wraith, Azrael. You see the like no clip in another building. Enigma, where'd you come from? <laughs> you mean Shadow Feed? They're not. Uh, shut it. No Dota. Shut it. Dota bad. <laughs> So as you all gather around, Elro pulls out a book from uh, a little a back like a little satchel he has towards his back, and he throws it on the table. While you all were gone before I cleaned this mess that you caused, I did a little research on the bio that you all gave me. Yeah, I've learned. I've learned that. Everyone who touches this vial gets afflicted with a curse called Frigid Woe. Mm. It's some Aryan relic, and from what I could find, it only has one cure, a milky liquid that the Aryans stored in gold vials. Cool. I can only imagine the place that keep them is where we found the vials in the first place. So I would like to task you all with Retracing Ergon's footsteps and trying to find a cure before Hold on. Ergon and his family die. Who touched the vials? Who was holding them? From what uh, I know, is this a question to Elro? I think this, this is a question, question to Elro and our party. Okay. Uh, well, I'll give you a say first. Technically, didn't Jackson grab him? Jackson grabbed yeah. it. I think it. I think it was Jackson and Brandon. Jackson and Brandon grabbed it. Grab I know that for a fact. I tried to. I avoid. No. They they did not. They grabbed the cloth. They didn't actually grab oh, it. Okay. Jackson, no, grabbed, Jackson it. grabbed it with his hand. I'm pretty sure. Didn't he? I highly doubt it. I no, yeah, he grabbed him because he was talking I'll, about I'll his. Check, uh, I'll check the vlog later. I'll check the. Oh later. yeah, he did. I I had it in I I had it but I had gloves on. Cuz that's how I gave it to or not gave it but that's how I showed it to Elro. Uh I never else? touched it. The fucking guy never... that we got the vials from touched it. Wouldn't wouldn't that girl had have touched it? That well, no, he had it in a he had it wrapped in a cloth. <gasps> <gasps> Though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you mean the girl? By girl, you mean the the lady in the house that? Yeah, I don't. I don't remember anyone's visited? names. I'm just gonna say that now. I don't remember anyone's names, but it could have been her. I, I'm pretty sure she she, she grabbed it. Um, Tolki and uh, yeah. whatever her name is in the cave. Lily. Lily. I think Tolgi might have grabbed it. Oh no! Yes, oh, yeah, she did. We know Tolgi she was did. sick. Okay, so we know she grabbed it. Yes, both Togi and Lily then... have a sickness. Okay. Um, Sorry, it's been a while. I kind of forgot. Oh, yeah, it's been six weeks, Luke. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel tired. Um, Shut the fuck up to yourself. Okay. Uh, Can you not well... do self-harm on my team? <laughs> okay. um, I'm kidding. I love Ethan. Can I uh, investigate the book? See what it's... Uh... Would you like to read the book, or you just want to look at the book? Um, I want to read the book. Uh, okay. So you 
you walk as you walk over to the table to pick up the book, you quickly flip open its continents to see a bunch of just elven writing. And I speak elven. Loose, loose pictures of different just magical items that you can't even comprehend how it works. Okay. Uh, I speak elvish. I can read it. Um, yeah, sure. I glance over Geary offering to see if he can read it out loud for us. And in the meanwhile, can I actually uh, go pick up the glass that Elro is sweeping? Oh yeah, you need that for a spell, don't you? Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. So as Geary slowly starts chugging his way over, getting used to the new weight of his armor, Nordic kind of walks over to Elro and starts just snagging glass out of a dustpan. Elro kind of like hitting him with his broom a couple times. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to get his full gremlin hand (laughs) away. You're not gonna explain yourself, to Elro. <laughs> uh, don't, don't worry about me, Elro. Just focus on the other guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what can I read from the book, or do okay. you not know that information? Give me a quick second. Okay. So, okay, you can read the book, but you have to just roll a 1 through 20. Roll a d20. You roll, roll a d20. And I'll give you a little blurb to read out. 13. 13? Mm-hmm. I couldn't have rolled like a perception. Uh, well, it's not, you're not necessarily perceiving. It's more of you're flipping to a page to read. Uh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Are you sending this to Discord? Uh, yes, I'm gonna send you a little blur. But give me a quick second. Cool, cool. Uh, knowing Elvish is cool. Fuck you. <laughs> <clears throat> Get to practice my reading skills from my English class. And this is actually going to be something that you might know, Joseph. Really? Mm-hmm. Bernie, why is the last message you sent me how hard you pissed? <laughs> <laughs> are you typing this out or are you copy pasting? Uh, this is a PDF, so I have to type. Okay, is this from the the story? This is from, this is from Wild Mount. This is more of just a book of magical artifacts. Oh, cool. So some of them are Aryan, some of them aren't. The one you flip to is this. <laughs> so you I can, know you, this one. You can read it out if you like. That's really funny that you got <clears throat> I'm reading this out of the party. Mm-hmm. Dust of deliciousness. This reddish brown dust can be sprinkled over any edible substance to greatly improve the flavor. The dust also dulls the eater's senses. Anyone eating the food treated with this dust has disadvantage on wisdom ability checks and wisdom saving throws for one hour. There is enough dust to flavor six servings. Hmm. That was fucking useless. 
That not what? exactly. <laughs> what? It's just learning new info. That's all this is. So can I? Okay, Elro, what is exactly this book for? This book is just a massive compendium or dictionary, if you would, of just the different magical items that people have found throughout the years. I've been browsing through this, trying to find what this blue vial was, and I eventually did find it. But the rest is kind of pointless if you don't know what you're looking for. So, what's this new quest you want us to go on? That was really my way. He wants us to find the uh, original location of the vials. Mm -hmm. And the cure. Uh, That's what I'm looking for. Elro, do you mind if I take this book? If you so choose, then yes. Okay, I will take it then. Um, I glance back at the rest of the party, offering, uh, offering, saying, hey, I think it's about time we go uh, start investigating. All right. I agree. I agree. How about you, Wraith? (laughs) 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 That was good. I like your enthusiasm. Let's help. (laughs) Wait. Uh, I will stop you before you leave. I'm I'm Mimic Joseph. I like your enthusiasm. (laughs) Just, Just quickly saying... I, if if I know where you're wanting to go, you're probably wanting to head more north, and you'll probably need thicker clothes than what you're currently wearing. If you'd like, I I can get you thicker clothes, but it would cost you about ten gold pieces each. Well, aren't some like of us cold resistant though? Aren't some of us cold resistant? So uh, like Jackson is. Why the decision? Mm. Okay. Just. Meta, meta, meta game, meta game. Is there a shop nearby? Uh, not one that's readily available to you. Elro would be essentially going out of town to get this for you. Oh, oh. How long would it Question. take? About a day. So we get to long rest. Pretty much, yeah. All right, so it's over. Let's. <laughs> good session, necessary? boys. Good session. Is it necessary? I... Uh, you don't. I mean, it's not just gonna straight up kill you if you don't have it. So you died of hypothermia as soon as you Would... stepped foot on the island. But it's more of like, hey, if you're gonna stay there, for our more attacks than might be slower or something like that. So I, I don't want. Uh, I don't want to. Okay. Uh, Birdie, I don't. I don't want to be like I'm Rockman. I'm cold resistant. Can I theoretically be cold resistant or no? Would it have to? No. Would it have to say uh, cold for defenses? Uh, if you want to be frozen into a statue. Okay, let's get some warm clothes, boys. <laughs> so, Joseph, yeah. is that a yes to you getting it? Yeah, I will. I will take some warm clothes. So, snag forty G, uh, gold. Okay, four, or not forty. Four. Ten. 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 <laughs> I'm not buying us all clothes. I'll, I'll, I'll also uh, snag some clothes. Okay, would anyone else like clothes? Uh, yes. I would snag some. Let's see what spells I have to cast today. Ooh, I have so many spells. <laughs> and Luke, would you like warm clothes? Is that even a question? Yeah. <laughs> He's a bird. He's a body. I'm a bird, you bro. Fly over the cold. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I, mean, I got, I got, I got feathers. I got feathers, Inspector but I have like some clothes. <laughs> okay. I'd feel left out if I didn't get clothes. So are you? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, I feel bad about laughing about it. it it's just the wealth gap. Oh, yeah, no, I'm poor. Luke has two silver. Oh, never mind. <laughs> not in comparison to Bird Boy. <laughs> oh, wait, can uh, Luke not buy it? No, Luke can buy it. We're it's just a- he bought it, and now he's at two silver oh, left. Okay, I'm at... You guys probably need to buy him dinner. Right? Uh, a little starved. He can hunt yeah. for himself. He's a bird. Cool. Birds you don't need to eat, as everyone knows. Do I, 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 seeds. We'll I need, just give him some to, pumpkin seeds. I need to eat, right? 
We're, we're not going to uh, make me have to not eat. We'll, we'll sort out the eating in a second. Why am I, uh... You 19? Are... Oh, my shield unequipped. What the fuck? <laughs> so, as you all walk over to Elro to hand him the contents of your purses, he takes all the gold and just before, as he starts walking towards the door to go get you guys your things, he lets out a quick remark just as he's leaving. To get you over there, I will be arranging a ship to arrive in about, say, three days from now. Hi. Do what you will until then. I'll tell you more details before you leave. Just three days. Do not forget that. And with that, he leaves the building to go get you all of your equipment. Real quick question, buddy: Is this gonna take multiple sessions to get to the ship, or are we gonna get? To uh, it? we can literally just blink if you guys don't want to do anything in three days. Well, we could go hunt stuff. You can go hunt stuff if you really want. It's your call. You guys um, aren't necessarily missing anything by just blinking. But if you guys want to do something. What's up? If we want to do something for the three days, does that mean when we go on the ship, that's when the session ends? Or we can just... I plan on having the session go past the ship. Perfect. Okay. So I plan on you guys doing the three-day thing just right now, unless you guys want to say, okay, we're hunting every single day. Uh, no, yeah, we can just... If, if we're seriously not missing anything important. Yeah, yeah. I'm down with this. All right, we're going to go t- kill Togi. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... More XP, I'm done with that. No, it's... You want to go find another frog, Will? <laughs> Who's Will? Frog. Frog. So, uh, Wait, so no. you all, are you all okay with blinking? Yep. Yes. Wait, who's and this is a long rest, right? Wait, who's uh, Will? Yes, this would be a long rest. Blink. Long rest. Ah! Water. <laughs> oh god, it's a waterfall. Bing tab. Okay. So, where, where are we? Where did we blink to? Uh, I'm a dwarf. I can't swim. Mariner's no, place. Right now, island I'm... where uh, there's a lot of waterfalls and shit. Okay, it is also 57 degrees at this place apparently. Or where <laughs> I? I don't know. Things not that helpful. Bro, I did we get scammed? I thought we needed like winter shit and shit. shit. And shit and shit. Do you mind? You should come. come and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and piss. Bro, shit who wants and who wants to go in the waterfall? Gary, are you up? I'll push you in, don't worry. Who? Me? <laughs> Have one pushing me. Crack it. It's not what you call a stone person. Crack it. Okay. <clears throat> Let me pull up some fallen ASMR crime statistics. <laughs> <laughs> well, despite making up 13% of the D&D populace. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, everything we do is going to get real demonetized. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm oh, not. <laughs> sure it doesn't I'm matter. It doesn't matter because I'm not getting money off this shit. Uh, I, I need to have a thousand subscribers. No, I need to have mm. a thousand subscribers now for me to get money off this shit, which is annoying. Okay. So as Elro leaves, and three days flash before your eyes of just scarfing your face full of as much food as you can, and training very lightly, with some people kind of just passed out. You guys do eventually come day three. Upon this, and I will pull up a quick just map so you guys can see the town again. You guys can see my mouse even though I'm not on the tap. Freaky. Astonishing. I can just see clicking on a shit ton of stuff. <laughs> Ooh, map. Ooh. Wait, I thought so we were as- uh, the map is this. Is the right map? Is it <clears throat> oh, okay. 
Okay. It, it's like this, Ethan. Oh, okay. So we're heading out in the middle of fucking ocean? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> so, come the third day, you all start walking towards the dock. Arm in arm, if you so much. Dicks in hand. Overcoats on our backs. Um, and upon upon reaching the dock, Elro gives you a far distant wave, just, just to signify a quick hello and almost a goodbye before you all leave. Would you all like to approach him? Sure. Uh, yeah, I will approach him. Can I hug her? I said him. Did I, did I say her? You said him. I'm saying Birdman. Does, what does Birdman want to do? And yes, Will, you can hug him. Yes! You Birdman wants what? to hug as well. Can I kiss him? Oh. No. Fuck. <laughs> can, I, can I suck him off? <laughs> I punch him in the ball. Okay, that's, that's could, the... could we give this guy a good time? <laughs> no. Okay. So, uh, as, you, as, you, as, you, as you all approach, he kind of just says, Thank you. I want to thank you for your help thus far. It's been nice. Ow. I hope you all do actually find a cure. And do remember, time is of the essence. I do want to find a cure for this, but <clears throat> I want to find it just to save Irvin and his children, if that's possible. Uh, wait, just wait. Sorry, you said someone's children are sick? This is out of character. <laughs> Uh, yes, the kids in general are. Hey, quick, quick recap. Irvin, uh, he has a family. One husband, two tiefling daughters. Oh and my god. They've all taken a while. Yeah, that's what I thought. And you guys said oh they god. had the cloth. They've all touched the vial. Yeah, that's what I said. And oh, I was god. told okay. I was wrong. When? Wow, mm -hmm. recently. Uh, this was like a while ago. This, this was, was like, like. Isn't when we first came four, here? Three days ago. Like this is very this is very recently that they just got sick. All right, well, no, I mean like a I, while ago, like when this when we first came here, that's when we heard about it, right? I, uh, yeah. I shake Elro's hand and I thank him for or thank him for the hospitality. Uh, as he returns a firm handshake, your your hands kind of like battered away as you see a bird and. The fallen Asimar going to hug Elro at the exact same time. <laughs> and he's kind of just sitting there just with a dead look on his face. Almost crying out for help. We'll miss you. We'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I, 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 I start mimicking whatever safe. Will says. I just mimic whatever Will says. I, 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 I grab Will by the or I grab Azriel by the collar and I pick up by the collar. I, I pick up Wraith by the back of his bird neck and I'm just like We'll be going now. The ship that I've arranged for you all is called the Ramores. He gestures uh, behind him. To the, ship. <laughs> <laughs> to the ship behind him. He does, and before you all leave, he fills you in quickly that just... The place you're really heading to is called Srinvanya. It's an outpost, uh, I think it's owned by the Utodron, and it's on, it's the largest island up there. Once you get there, you're going to want to talk to one of my old friends, Orvo Mustav. He's also gone on a lot of expeditions with Ergon, so he should be able to take you where they went. Also, whenever you are there... Go seek out someone known as the buyer. He should be able to get us the cure without you all, you lot, coming back here. And with that, he kind of just gives you one more solid nod, and then steps out of the way for you all to go. <clears throat> Thank you, Elro, for everything you've done for us. Would you all like to board the Ramores? Yes. Yes. Please. I will fly. <laughs> you will not. <laughs> yeah. Birdie's oh, telling me what I can and can't do. <laughs> <laughs> Birdie really do be telling me what I can and can't do. If you want to fly for like over a week straight, go ahead. <laughs> 
And you can't even fly. You literally just be flapping your wings. <laughs> Well, I'm ready. Okay. So as you all board the ship, would you guys like to do anything during the time of the voyage? This is the same uh, question. Sing a pirate song. Who's on the ship? I want to wave my wand. Can I? Can it play pirate music? <laughs> uh, by the way, if you haven't all taken a long rest, go ahead. I already did. I already did. Ethan, now the guys, but he might have. I have. Okay. As long as you all have. Can uh, I use Thunderwave on the boat to make it sink? <laughs> Would you like to? <laughs> no. Nice. <laughs> Ethan Pog. <laughs> uh, a quick investigation on the boat. Yuri the, uh, leads you to the conclusion that you are the only normal passengers. There are some, a, just a bunch of storage boxes, and there are some crew aboard the ship, but this is mainly a trades vessel that you're hitching a ride on. Is there a captain? There is a captain. Okay. All ships have captains. I, I know. I was just... Ships have captains. <laughs> really telling him, like, he doesn't know if we're... I thought it was a dumb question. Well, yeah, I was just... Okay, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. I was just curious. Uh, the question was more, is someone, was one of us supposed to be captain or some shit? Not... No, no, no. You guys are hitching a ride. Yeah, okay, okay. That makes more sense. Okay. So as the remora sets off and goes towards the open sea, you can tell the strip will take you Quite a bit of time. Would you guys like to do anything to pass the time, or would you guys just like to skip? Can we play tag? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who would you like to play tag with? Gary, do you want to play tag? What? What is this? This tag game you speak of? I have no recollection. We run around in a circle, and one of us is it, <laughs> and then we touch the other person, and then they're it, and then they. I feel the left out. Person. You can join this... two bird. What? <laughs> yeah, this being it, do you not want to be it? You do not want to be it. You okay. want to give the other person it. And then that it makes someone else it. <clears throat> Nordic, would you like to join in this game of being it? Well, why not? <laughs> I think Birdie's so lost. Well, so I'm, as I'm you... I not don't know what tag is. So this Azrael quickly slaps Geary on the chest and starts darting away. <laughs> Geary replicates the motion, slapping Nornik, but much too hard. <laughs> <laughs> kind of pushing him backwards, and then sprinting hey. after Azrael. <laughs> oh wait, wait! First extra speed, I took my Mariners plate off. <laughs> okay. Oh my God! So, <laughs> just the idea of me just woof, boom, boom, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I can just imagine. I can imagine the captain being like, "Yeah, we're gonna." What's that? Just feels. Sound? Just feels this thump, thumping. Just Was sees there an Gary earthquake on the water. <laughs> 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 and as you all play tag to pass the time, slowly nine days do pass. I'm actually going to go get water real quick because I'm dying on the inside. <laughs> tag for nine days. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Every day we play tag, dude. You play tag for a week straight. And I thank you for showing me this game of being it. You're welcome. Very fun. It, do you want? There's a better game. Okay, hear me out. Uh, it's it's like it's like the game of being it, but it's more advanced. Uh, you see, you see, everyone sits in a circle, okay? And while everyone's in the circle, there's one person that's gonna be it, right? And they, 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 <laughs> oh, tap, come on, <laughs> they tap their heads and they yell duck, okay? Each time they say duck, you're clear. But if you what say does goose a duck have to do with being it? Don't ask me. Ask God. 
Uh, anyway. Uh, can you... What is being it? What does the duck have to do with being it? You. No one knows who Amur is, by the way, I'm guessing. Your boyfriend? No, Amur is my god! <laughs> so you're... So your boyfriend. I, well, I would assume Amuru is a boy, and I, 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 he is a is friend, Is he your yes. friend? Okay, then it's your boyfriend. It's like how Wraith is my boyfriend. Are you my boyfriend? Are you my boyfriend? <laughs> I, I do not know. Now you're going to make me say that someone else is someone else's boyfriend, and they're going to get mad at me for thinking that they're gay. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's probably what I'm going to do with this now. <coughs> uh, so yes duck. <coughs> okay yep we go like you go duck 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 and then when you say goose that person becomes it and then they run around and, and then they try to tag you and then it and repeats itself how long does this person run for who is you, you run around it. in a circle until you can sit back down on, in the circle like where ah. their spot was <laughs> It's it's a it's highly advanced. There's more steps than Dude. just being it. You know what I mean? Brody is in love with this conversation. He's not here. Okay. Oh, he's back. Did you hear our conversation about? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> did you about boyfriends and stuff. Not that. No, I, I went to go get water for that. I just come back and you're this goose, right? Okay. Yeah. So we could do yeah. that time next time we have free time. Yeah, but my uh, Giri's not gonna call someone gay without realizing it. Okay. Don't ask questions. So, as the <laughs> as the Ramirez drifts into a distant harbor, it eventually does dock, and a ramp flies down as the dock is connected to the ship. The temperature has steadily dropped since you did leave Pale Bank Village, yet it seems to grow even colder now as you all start stepping down the steps uh, into a area foreign. As you can see from the signs, just welcome to foreign at the end of the dock. Through windy snow, you can see fur lined tents and yurts arranged in large camps. Campfires are whipped by the wind, and dwarves and elves. Close, close to the flame. From the distance, you hear just a faint yelling, Don't worry, it'll cool down here eventually. <laughs> Shitty little laugh. Oh, <laughs> I was like, Popeye? <laughs> Popeye. You see a female dwarf with a luscious mane, although unkempt, uh, is staring down at you, from the end of the dock. Would you guys like to approach her? Sure. Uh, yes. So, as you two meet halfway into the dock, she bows down to you, letting her hair kind of fall in front of her face, and just quickly says, Mortal Delaware, at your service. Welcome to Ezelkos. Why does she sound like the Hearthstone Tavern Keep? <laughs> They're both dwarves. <laughs> they both have left his name. Yeah, but one's a chick. Yeah, it's a dwarf. They don't know the difference. <laughs> Alright, whatever. That's, uh, <clears throat> what was her name again? Sorry. Morgo Dweller. Mordigo? Morgo D E L W U R. Delwer. <laughs> Uh, uh, hello, uh, Margo. My name is Giri. These are my compatriots. Nornik, uh, Azriel, and Wraith. Yo. Would you like to introduce yourselves? I. Hello. Yo. What? What? It's a new word he picked up. Sorry, I'm gonna right. mix someone. I'm gonna mix someone. Uh, I'm guessing you're obviously from around here, yes? That's for certain. And I can tell you, you are some of the lamest people I've seen. But we'll put that aside. Listen, Come with me. I am not lame. <laughs> Do you want to know why? 
Eh, but why? <laughs> I waved my, my wand. <laughs> no, don't you dare! Don't you dare bring rhythm in here! I will make my money's worth of this fucking wand, okay? <laughs> Just hear me out. I hate you so much. Okay. I can't believe you're doing this. So, as you start waving oh air on through the air, almost like a quick draw where you quickly pull it out and start waving it, just faint orchestra music can be heard. And she's just, she kind of just sits there and stares at you like, I was kind of saying that as a joke. Now I might really mean it. Listen, are you saying <laughs> you don't like music here? Are you saying that this music doesn't lighten your mood? Uh, uh, look, I'm sorry, he's a nerd. Um, <laughs> we've come here to look for a source of something. A curse, you could say. Curse? Do you, you know the name of it by chance? It's well, first of all, do you know a dwarf by the name of Ergon? I've heard of him. He's a little denser from what I've heard, but I've never personally met him. Well, recently he had passed due to an affliction from these strange vials he acquired. We believe somewhere in this area. Do you think you could give us a lead on that, or do you not know enough? Is he dead? Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> you're looking for a lead? I, I could tell you what you'd like to know, but I kind of do need to know what you're looking for. Do you have a, does it have a name? Do I have effects? Does, well, it. Does it remember the name of the fucking. I forgot to write out that name because I had to reload the page and it deleted the name. I don't know. The Wait. Name. I it, reloaded. It, it, well, you really just you guys really just sail across the sea not knowing what the fuck you were looking for. Oh, it reset. I didn't realize it deleted the fucking name. I think we're just gonna, it. It freezes the, people. Look, fuck Asriel. And it comes from a blue vial, and you need like this <laughs> vial that's golden to cure you. Yeah, well, he said it. <laughs> He's kind of just looking at you with an open mouth and one eyebrow cocked up. Just an astonishment of your lack of grace with words. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen. We have clo- no, no, no. I, I need silence. I need silence. Yes, exactly. We, we are exhausted. We, are exhausted. we cannot take this shit right now. I'm we a need rock your help. man. I'm get tired. I'm a rock Here man. I can't help. think. Look, Morgan. Morgan. Am I right? Am I an idiot? Morgo. 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 This, uh, disease, if cure, came from these blue vials that Ergon had, uh, brought back with him. It causes this chilling of the body, blue veins, and freezing temperatures of anyone afflicted on by it. Do you happen to know anything about that? Yeah, yeah, that's close to 100%. Frigid war. As like we all- said. Fucking stop! What? <laughs> oh, I kicked the bot! You know you <laughs> did it! <laughs> idiot! Oh, you son of a bitch! No longer admin? Uh oh. Oh my fucking god. I'm about to fucking kick him out of the. the... <laughs> you did Damn, it's in bright fucking red! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it back in. You just... It's a break, boys. Sorry. The rhythm break, break has been good. Ethan, don't take what we're having. That was just a mistake. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was going to I was, I was gonna kick him out of the party. That was that was me grabbing Azrael's arm and telling him to stop. Okay. As the so music mean. abruptly disappears <laughs> from its origin point in front of you. She's kind of just looking at you with a very disappointed and depressed look. Listen, Who is... we, we're the best you got oh. here. You should not underestimate us. <laughs> look, we're wow. a lot more. You are right that we got you here, but you know what? Just, just come with me. I'll, I'll show you where you need to go. 
Thank you. Thank you. And with that, she kind of turns around and raises her hand up to beckon that she wants you to follow. Listen, guys, let me talk. I'm I'm the smoothest talker here. <laughs> she has to reach her with, the, with the music wand that doesn't know when to fucking turn it off. <laughs> hey, dwarf lady, look. <laughs> If you don't start playing Zelda music when you do that, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I wish I can. It's or it's only orchestra music. No, no, there's orchestra music in Zelda. Wait, dude, play some Mario Galaxy, bro. You can do whatever music you want. It just needs to be orchestra. Has to be or yeah. So you can do Mario Galaxy. You can probably do a few Zelda songs. Okay. So as as you all are following Morgo, bickering to yourself, she quickly calls your attention with just a quick snap and gestures towards a group of dwarves and elves huddled around, chatting around a camp, huddled around and chatting around the campfire. They're planning expeditions to find Eros' lost treasures. I mean, that's what this place is all about. If you ain't exploring, you ain't banking gold. <laughs> she keeps leading you guys on forward through the town, gesturing just to a few shops and other uh, yurts. What kind of shops? Are they're just—they're pretty much just yurts with just raggedy old adventures laying, laying some of their wares around, from what you can see, what you'd find in San Francisco. Is there, is there anything that uh, catches my eye? Uh, no. Damn it. I was gonna see if I could roll out like a perception check. There's a sword store in San Francisco, which has some pretty dope swords. I'm more of talking about the people selling their mixtapes on the side of the road. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's pretty much what you're getting here. There's no like special shop that we can see. It's just all shit. Uh, not that you're at currently. Okay. Uh, so as Morgo leads you through the village, she abruptly stops in front of a large fur-lined yurt, much fancier than the ones uh, around the other yurt and from what you've passed. You can stay here. Belong to a fool rich elf named Barton who came here looking for adventure. He found the inside of a saber-toothed tiger instead. Should be some food up in there. It's yours. Okay, and do we owe you anything for it? No, no. Don't worry about it. Nobody's using us right now, so you might as well. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Call me if you need me. And with that, she leaves you all to stay inside the year. Okay. <clears throat> what? Wanana. Do you have a map of the yurt or no? Uh, the yurt's just a small little... T I could pull up a map if you'd like. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there's I am a visual person, plus I'm doing YouTube. <laughs> Bring, I need to see if there's big, big titty goth girlfriend in there. What, you don't want a big titty goth dwarf girlfriend? I was gonna say, like, is Nornik not attracted to this dwarf lady? <laughs> uh, only I'm only attracted to my bagpipe. Oh, uh, what? To what? My bagpipe. That, that is essentially what a yurt looks like in what you guys found yourselves. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I call the couch. Yeah. <laughs> I hang upside down on the ceiling. I'm a bat now. As you all enter, the sound of wind and the biting cold die down. A cold fire pit marks the center of the hide-covered floor. An open grate containing packaged rations, and a few other items are stored next to the door. <clears throat> Did you guys like to do anything while inside the hut? Uh, confess my love for Azrael. <laughs> okay. oh, no. I kid, I kid. I'm kidding. Only slightly gay for him. <laughs> Um, well, if there's 
Uh, you said there's a few things by the door. What exactly are they? Uh, would you like to open the grate and look? Sure. Inside the grate, you see 50 days worth of rations, a 50-foot silk rope, a blanket, a grappling hook, a miner's pick, and a book. Um, I'll snag the miner's pick. What's uh, and as I'm grabbing the pick, I look at the title of the book. The book is titled "Adventure Sexy: Impress Potential Lovers with Great Deeds" by Shalane Sh- uh, Shortall. It's nice. A cool book. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god, that's fantastic! Joseph, that's a keeper. I have no interest in a lover. <laughs> <laughs> it's because his lover is his god. Well, I, well, yes, but uh, you're really calling him out. I'm not well, calling theoretically, him out. yeah. I'm just speaking truth. I, I haven't met. A, I don't even think I have a dick. I have to like form one myself. <laughs> I want to. I do not want to picture that. Thank you. <laughs> I do man. I they call me Cockman. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just, wow. Can I, can I'm I'm really down? I'm really hearing this. I'm really he- hearing this. Can I burn the place down? <clears throat> Sorry, uh, other than the pick in the book, what was in there again, Brody? As you take another glance in, all that's left is 50 days worth of rations, a 50-foot silk rope, a blanket, a grappling hook. I'm not sure if you took that. I'll take the grappling hook. Uh, I know you took the minor stick and the book. I'll take the grappling hook. Okay, well, while Asriel grabs a grappling hook, I will, uh, ra- like... Give ten rations to each of us, leaving ten in the uh, in the sack. Wait, what was in? Wait, what oh, else? Sorry, ten, ten days of each rations each to us, leaving ten in the sack. Okay. So there's a pick, a grappling hook, and I grabbed the pick, and I Ooh, looked at the book, and a book. Book. Fucking greedy bastard. What? No, I'm talking to Joseph. Took a pick and a book. I'm <laughs> looking there first, motherfucker. Yeah, you. So what, why are you taking the porn book? I I looked at it. I, I looked at it. it. You want the porn book? No. Why he are you jealous? Book. Can I? Why are you complaining? And why are you complaining? Uh, you can't. Can't. If uh, you'd like to throw it in fire as tinder, you can. Yes. No, don't throw the book away. No, nope, it's already gone. Good dinner, bro. Uh, so and, and as Nornik goes over to grab the book, he grabs it, and as he's about to throw it, he just grabs his arm. He doesn't know. Nod at him. Can I do an Arcana check on the book? You can, yes. God, if it has some secret fucking magic. Um, first, first, I want to uh, use my guidance to give myself a boost. Uh, sure. So I need to roll a d4. Guidance. Four. Two. Okay. Connor. Do I have any other reds? Thirteen. Oh, so roll the book. You stare very intensely at the book, sensing the magical energy from within, seeing that it helps you impress people. I still decide to throw in it in the fire. In terms of actual magical energy, there's nothing. I decide to throw it in the fire. So after intently staring at the book, you kind of frisbee toss it over towards the cold fire. <sighs> I sigh heavily. There is still a 50-foot silk rope in a blanket if you guys would like to keep or, keep or leave it. Uh, leave um, for now. I, I leave the motion leave the towards them to uh, to Wraith. I I'm look over. Wait, does my grappling hook need a if you want either of them? Hmm? Does the grappling hook need the rope? Uh, I've already added it to your inventory. Okay, I'll okay. Try. I'm gonna be fair. I haven't heard anything what's going on because I'm doing uh, physics homework. So, Bro, I swear to fucking like, God, Luke. What do you mean? I have physics Luke, okay, today. Luke. Would you like a 50-foot silk rope or a blanket? Or would you like neither? Uh, is this something I'm keeping in my inventory, or is it just yes. like... 
I guess I'll take a blanket. Chili. Well, isn't someone? I thought Will was taking the rope because he needed it for the ground. Uh, I, I said I don't know if I need it, and it's not showing up in my inventory. Restart. Right, so Another fucking Tesla coil. Bird, I added the rope to my inventory. Oh, I see it, Norman. Okay, I don't. Good. Uh, would you guys like to head out to find a shop of some sort? Why not? Oh wait, actually, I didn't. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Okay, I need the rope. <laughs> Too bad. This guy. This fucking guy. Who, who, who got the rope? This fucking who guy. Got the rope? Oh, you, did. you did. I did. You guys can sort it out later. Can I do sleight of hand to take the rope? <laughs> can I do counter sleight of hand? <laughs> I, I need the rope or else it actually just doesn't work. You guys can sort that out when the time comes. He's not gonna give it up. It's Ethan. You guys can He's use it in the midst of battle. For Ethan, it's just a rope. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. That book that I read gave me some ideas. I'm gonna fucking... On how to steal. <laughs> what, no, you ever heard of bondage? <laughs> <laughs> I need what is what is this bondage you speak of, Nordic? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, okay. I will buy you rope later. Just give me, give me. Um. Let's let's head into town and see if we find any shops. Did everyone like to go with Ethan? Yes, I will follow. Him. Sure, I follow. So uh, as you all leave the hut, there are just adventurers surrounded by the campfires. It, that you can see through the, the other yards. What would you like to do? Do you want to find the shop? You can, but how do you want to find it? I offer to Wraith to uh, fly up in the air and uh, see if there's any... Shop. I can't fly! Yeah, you can't. That's, 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 that was, that's, that's no, random. Can I, can I... Bird? I'm obviously... This is, is this a dwarven town? Dwarven elvish. Dwar okay, Every, I am everyone, six six and everyone in here. Can I see a shop? Uh, you can see the tops of the yurts, and you can see that they're all relatively level, with some peeking out. Uh, one laced with leather, one laced with gold, and one that looks sort of beaten up. Can I, I can I head over to the gold one? Uh, did you, you all like to go, or just go? Right. Uh, Ethan, yeah, you didn't see it, so it's Geary's choice. What would you like to do with that info? Uh, um, I will head. So it was a gold one, the other one, and a beaten up one. Yes. I'll head to the beaten up one first. Uh, would you guys all like to follow suit? Sure. Sure. Gary starts walking off. So as you arrive, you just see a completely destroyed yurt. Yo! Everything, everything inside it. Or that was once inside is now gone, looted or burned. Can, can I investigate it? Uh, you can, yes. Uh, Who would like to investigate? Uh, I, I will. One of you has to decide. Oh, you have a higher. Mine is negative three, so. Will. <laughs> I already rolled. What? <laughs> I got a seven. Okay. Wait, what's okay. mine? I think I'm plus three on the. From what yeah. you can see. There's a lot of burn marks from a across the yurts, and a lot of them are centralized towards the floor and the lower walls. So from what you can tell, the fire was caused from inside the yurt. Uh, is the fireplace mashed? The fireplace is not mashed, but you can see it's built in properly. Improperly? Improperly. Okay. Are there any bodies? No, any there bodies? are no bodies. Can then I tell no, if it was there, done are there, are there, intentionally I'm guessing or no. by accident? Hmm? Does the, my investigation tell, like, help me tell if it was done intentionally or by accident? That would be insight, and you would need... Okay. I, I guess you can roll an insight if you want. Or I'll roll an insight, then. Wait, let me see if my insight's... Actually, what's, what's your insight? I'm... I'm... Passive. Pause three. 
Mine's negative. Or sorry, zero. I'll roll. Uh, Ethan, what are you looking for? Um, any sign? Any uh? Any sign of any, arson? And no, any sign of what caused the fire? So arson. That might not have been an arson. Keep in mind, you guys aren't conveying information to each other. Fucking idiot. Yeah, you should probably <laughs> so tell people when you do investigation checks. Can tell you people can what you, you tell, Can you tell us if it? Can you figure out if it's a uh, was intentional or not? Okay, I'm just gonna. I so I rolled my investigation check. I'm investigating not investigation. My insight. insight. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm just trying to find out what caused it. You're trying to figure out what caused the supposed fire. Yes. From what you can see, it feels like an accident. What do you roll? A 16. I convey to the rest of the group, hey guys, it looks like the fire that happened here just was an accident. Are people... There's no one outside the tent concerned that this has happened? Uh, there are people outside of the tent, but none of them care. They all just kind of ignore that you get your guys' amazement at this burnt tent. Uh, can I ask one of them what happened? Uh, sure. Would you just like to walk up to one of the adventurers yeah. and ask? Yeah, and ask. If they saw what happened. <laughs> Unless you're doing a Matt Mercer, this must have to have something important. He's doing Matt Mercer. I, I, it's He's doing Matt Mercer. So what would you like to say? Investigate the chair. Um, <laughs> shut the fuck up. We're not. We're no chairs today. Uh, did did you catch what happened here? Did someone try to do anything or just happen? Hmm. Uh, about what? The the burnt down tent here. Oh, that. Uh, yeah, it's been burnt for like, what, four months now. We just don't care enough to clean it up. It was an act. Some guy forgot to fix his fire properly and it burnt down. Do you have a name? What? I don't know the guy. Sorry. I heard it secondhand. I never actually knew the guy. Cool. <laughs> Do you know that anyone kind of? Knew him, or oh. is it just a mystery? I mean, I heard it through the it grapevine. It was Ergon. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it could have been. <laughs> it could have been. No, I'm being dead serious. Maybe. Uh, okay, that's all I want to know. I don't have anything. Okay. With that, he kind of just goes back. Just sitting in solitude. Uh, well, uh, I guess now we can uh, head to the golden tent. Golden tent time, let's go. Okay, calm down, to baby. So, as as all of you follow Geary as he walks towards a tent lined with gold, more about the top, but not at the walls. You just see a fancy looking yurt. Would you guys like to enter? Is there anything on the outside that looks that gives us an idea of what is inside? Uh nothing besides the riches and a faint tent that says buyer. Hmm. Not a faint tent, a faint sign that says buyer. What am I on about? Buyer? Buyer. Oh, so like we sell shit here. If that's what you want to interpret that as, yeah. I walk in. As you walk in, the pungent scent of incense fills the air. It kind of comes at you like a brick. It comes? Fuck off. It comes. The walls are painted with glowing arcane runes. A brass bazaar burns brightly at the center of the floor, around which are a set of few plush chairs, a bed, and a large stone chest. On one of those chairs sits an elf reading a book. A small dragon with green butterfly wings is curled in the elf's lap. Uh, 
he kind of glances up at the dwarf that has just entered the room, but doesn't say a word. I, uh, I have uh, follow suit. I'll fall behind him. So as you enter, the same thing happens to you. Yeah, I, I'm a... not looking for a new... Just saying I follow him. Can I do an archive uh, check on the runes? Uh, as, you can. No. As Ethan is rolling his roll, I introduce myself, uh, asking the guy, asking what his wares are. 15. As you look at the runes, just a wave of magical energy kind of just fills your head as you're trying to figure out what they do, and you are forced to stop before it gets too overwhelming. Joseph, what would you like to do? Uh, I'd like to introduce myself and ask what his wares are. Hello, my name is Geary, and I'm interested in what you sell. What I sell? Uh, Nothing. Uh, what I buy? <laughs> Everything. Ah. <laughs> ah, sounds about right. Hmm. Well, this will be a good stop then for later on. Is, uh... Do you have any information on... <sighs> cursed items? Or curses. What type of curse? Often one that one that freezes mm -hmm. the body and turns one to ice. Could you blow? Yes, that sounds familiar. Yeah. What would you like to know? Uh. Is it, is yeah. Say that one more time. What is what the is origin? Its origin? Give me a quick second. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. <laughs> we trapped him, boys. He, he kind of just stares at you and says, Sal's fault. Sorry, so, could you repeat say, that? Yeah, say that again. Sal's fault. Sal's vault. Mm -hmm. Who is Sal? I think it's a place. <laughs> Sal Volcano? Hey guys, Sal from <laughs> Practical Jokers. Today I'm gonna <laughs> fucking prank this D and D NPC <laughs> by turning him to ice. We have sounds we are, like something Sal would do. Obviously not from around here. Could you point us in the direction of Sal's vault? North. Just north. Uh, give me a quick second. <laughs> you oh, bro, did, you, like by did, you, did you give us the ten rations each? Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, thank you. I didn't... I haven't refreshed yet. I'm doing that right now. Wait, I don't see it. What? Oh, never mind. Just kidding, I see it. I'm just an idiot. You don't have to stay that true to your character, Joseph. What, what? What do you mean? <laughs> Being an idiot. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know if he's being true to his character, Ethan. <laughs> right, fuck off. Shit, fuck. <laughs> um. Sorry, was the last thing you said that it was north? Yes. Yes. Okay. Does anyone have anything anything they'd like to sell? No. Not that. Oh, I think I'm good, bro. <clears throat> yeah, well, I, uh, check. I would like to sell my yeah. old chainmail. Okay. He kind of just, as you pull it out, he kind of just looks at it, looks it up, looks it down. 
And then he kind of just pulls out a little baggie of gold and sets it on the table in front of him. The, the whole bag. Just a bag. It's not a big bag, but it's a bag of gold. There's probably like one gold in it. <laughs> oh yeah, one. All right. <clears throat> like to count how many? Sure. Through a tedious process of taking out each coin and counting, you can surmise there's 75 gold pieces in the bag. Well, awesome. <clears throat> Anyone else have anything they'd uh, like to sell before we leave? No? Uh, oh, good, I can, I, uh, can I do an investigation check on him? Actually, uh, what are you investigating? Or did you want me to get rid of that chainmail? I already did. Oh, just refresh your page. I, I did. I didn't. Yeah. Anyway, that's what it's, I was your currency should be Jack. Right? I I want I want to investigate um how much money he has on him. <laughs> uh, he is currently sitting behind a desk, so you wouldn't be able to do that without sneaking behind the desk. Can I roll a stealth check? Uh, considering he's staring directly at you, if you wanted to, it would be with disadvantage. I could roll past with, I could cast past without trace, but I don't know what you're doing. So. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use guidance again and cast it on myself to give myself a buff when it comes to rolling the stealth check. God, you're such a fucking idiot. Here's the d4. Three. Coolio. Stealth check with disadvantage. 13 plus 3, so 16. Just Ethan doing Ethan things. 16? Mm hmm. Roll a second, roll a second time. Uh, no, you, so 13, okay. Well, no, I with um with the guidance, I gain a buff to anything. So okay, 16. Yeah, so 16. Come on, Birdie. <laughs> he has to roll perception, doesn't he? Uh. You're right, yeah, he does. Let me look at that real quick. <laughs> Brady wasn't planning on me trying to fucking stuff while a dude's staring me in the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I hope you know. I'm gonna stab the baby dragon. Don't you dare. <laughs> As you kind of s slide your way into the wall, uh, very gracefully as you hide behind the objects, you do a quick peek to look at him, and you see him staring daggers at you. Wow. Terrifying. <laughs> okay, well, noticing the tomfoolery, I <laughs> grab Marnik by the shoulder, pull him back to me, and say, don't mind him, he just likes to really look at the wares. <laughs> I'd... The buyer does not respond to this. Staring I, I, at I, I, I'd put extra security if I were you. That's not coming from me, though. Um, do you... Uh, we all, we're all ready to go? I, I have a question. Hold up. By any chance, do you have bat fur? <laughs> You're only buying, he's only buying that sign. Just saying, yeah. like, spare offhand if he had any bat fur he needed to get rid of. You seem kind of contemplated for a second as to actually try and remember, and he just... No. It's worth, worth, worth an ask, worth an ask. Would you guys like to do anything else while you're in the tent? <laughs> no. Will, did you fucking write the name down of the curse? I'll write it down right now, fuck. Okay. What? The curse's name... is... Wait, what's it? <laughs> Please tell me someone's remembered already. How about we just do this? Uh, could you repeat the name of the curse, please? Frigid Woe. Frigid Woe? Oh, Woe. Frigid Woe. <laughs> woe. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hit the fucking Frigid Woe. All right, all right, after that, I and hearing this Nornic ramble on about some dance move. <laughs> <laughs> as you as you leave, you just hear a faint pleasure doing business. This guy is fucking creepy. Yeah, someone with that guy. Is uh, W O E? As you guys leave the tent, what would you like to do? 
Is woe spelled W O E or W O A? I like your head towards the leather tent. The leather tent? Yes. Okay. So, as would everyone like to follow first and foremost? Sure. Yes. So, as you walk through the small town of Yurts, you eventually approach the leather yurt and see that its front door or its front flap is open. And you also sense a immense heat coming from inside of it. Okay. This is. Would you guys uh, like to put uh, your hands down, or what would no, you like to do? In. I'm gonna can I can I roll a stealth and sneak in? Uh, you can, but would you like to do that before or after Joseph? Um, after. Okay. So Joseph, as you enter inside the tent. You see a young dwarf whose face is scarred with a large scratch. You see a short sword casually laid across his lap as he forms his outstretched hands on the fire. He kind of looks over towards you and gives you uh, just a quick little wave with uh, the hand closest to you, so his right hand, and then he just goes back to warming his hands with the fire. He also lets a... Hi, how can I help you? Scottish. <laughs> wow. Uh, Isn't everyone in this game Scottish? Well, I tried to do that. So is it, is it just him? There's no items? He's not like a shop? No, it, it, it's just him. Uh, just wandering around the town. Uh, just wondering what you're doing here. That's a funny question to go into someone's home and ask. Well, I'm just sitting here warming my hands. Name's Orville. How about you? The name's Gary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Giddy. Would you like to join me? It looks very warm. I'll join you. He kind of just gestures over to a seat across from him. This is out of character. Can we all make sure to not be idiots around the nice dwarf? <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> Wait. Ethan, roll a health check. Are you I rolled a 13. Okay. Uh, or Orville, right? Orvo. Orvo. Corvo. Corv. I'm so sorry. Not Orville. Right? Orvo. Orvo. It is Orvo. Orvo. Elmo's confusing people. Uh, are you? Alone. Wait, no, no, wait, 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 okay. Am I stealthing in? Uh, you are stealthing in. If he can see you or not, undisclosed. Uh, Orvo, uh, just forewarning, I am not, I'm not alone. I have, my party is outside waiting. I don't know when they're going to be coming in. Are you an adventurer? I am. I've adventured quite a lot. Is there any advice you need? I'm happy to help. Just, uh, well, we're obviously new around here. We're coming here to investigate a uh, <clears throat> curse. Uh, I believe it's called the Frozen Woe. Frigid. Frigid Woe. Uh, do you have any information on it? We were told by the the person, the golden tent that it's up north, or the location that is uh, um, I don't recognize the name off the bat. Uh, do you know what it looks like, perhaps? Well, what we've found from it is it's in these blue vials. Uh, obviously liquid, uh, but anyone who touches these vials gets horribly sick they become frozen uh freezing from the inside out they turn into these ice statues after the sickness has taken over them hmm. i do remember finding something like that i don't have it with me i gave it to ergon was with it was a friend of mine you, oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry I, to tell you this now but ergon has passed oh
He deserved to die on an adventure. Oh well. So I think. Uh, so, uh, what do you need to know? I don't know too much about it, but was uh, just. Could you possibly oh, give me one sec? Opal got stuck behind my beanbag, and she's <laughs> jumping up. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Where the fuck did she go? Can I run in the room? Can I walk in? Because it's yeah. really cold. Yes, uh, Bird. Would you like to follow? What the fuck, Opal? What are you? Do that. Ow! Ow! So a quick, quick Joseph break. What would everyone else like to do? I would like to come inside because it's really cold outside. So you kind of make your way in, kind of shivering a little bit. And Orbo gives you a quick wave before continuing his glance back at Giri. I back. Uh, Ray, so would you like to do anything, or are you physics? So as Wraith is kind of just like dead eye staring into nothing, slowly floating away due to his miscalculation of gravity. Wait, what? <laughs> Why is he floating away? What? Physics homework. Uh, he's he for- lagging. Yeah. He, he forgot to add the gravity to the equation, so he's just kind of slowly floating. Uh, you th- you- Fuck, uh, Nornik, what would you like to do? Can I roll investigation check on the room? Uh, you can. Alrighty. What are you aiming to look at? Or are you just trying to pick um, up stuff? Just, just, pick, just uh, to see what's in the room. That'd be Might more perception. Be. Okay. First of all, I'm going to use guidance again. I'm just going to use that every time. D4. Yeet. Okay. And perception. 13. So 16 again. So 16. Mm-hmm. From what you can see, it is very similar to the hut that you had, with a lot less fancy things. It is kind of bare bones with a fire in the center. About four chairs littered around the campfire, and a bed in the corner of the room, a tea kettle above the fire, and a pile of clothes near the bed. Can I do investigation check on the dwarf? What are you, uh, sure. What are you trying to find? I'm trying to see. Um, I'm actually. I'm trying to see his. Uh, actually, that would be more insight. I'm uh, back. Never mind. I'm just gonna. I, I cancel that thought. Give me. Give me. Oh, actually, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna ask one quick question. Yeah. Uh, Orvo, did you touch these vials by any chance when you gave them to Ergon? No, no, we we took fifty fifty. That's what he took. I never, he would never let me touch it, even if I wanted to. <laughs> Actually, question to the group: Do you think Ergon was aware then of what would happen? That he knew that if he touched it, it was Ben. Yeah. Maybe. Well, why would he do it? Then? Possibly why? too late. But well, I mean, uh, the only reason why I ask is well, the only reason why the the only reason why I ask is. Wait, you mean Orvo? No. Ergon. Ergon. Because he didn't give the vials. He would not let uh, Orvo touch the vials whatsoever. Well, how about yeah, this? Probably uh, stingy. Uh, how about this? I have another question. Is there? Did he give any reason as to why he wouldn't let you touch them? They were his. We split 50-50, as I just said. That's the only reason. Was he wearing gloves when he had them? Not from what I remember. Not a lot of people do. It's kind of hard to use gloves while fighting. I I disagree. (laughs) You gotta remember how crazy their gloves are. Yeah, no, but you're... you're just... Unless it's a fine... It's, it's bullying fine. my style, I'm offended, that's all. That not... wear gloves, keep that in mind. Not, oh. not to be, not to be nosy, but is there anything you got from the adventure that you're willing to obviously share the information with us about? 
nothing of note. The, I mean, the majority of, majority of it I sold to the buyer. The buyer? You mean the guy in the gold tent? The gold tent, yes. Just oh, you met the buyer? Yes. Yes, he's the one I sold it to. Mysterious fellow, ain't he? Uh, yes, indeed. Serious, just a tiny bit serious. Serious? What? Huh? Mysterious. Yeah, uh, He fetches good prices, though. Sold him my chainmail for 75 gold pieces. Not too bad. That's a pretty standard trade. You can't already haggle with him. He just won't listen. <laughs> he does seem like a man of very few words. So, is there anything you'd like to ask me, if you're looking for this curse? Any uh, advice? Just... Like, it, really anything helps. Well, we found vials in Southfold. It's about 200 miles north from here. A long trip. Southfold, if you have you ever been to Southfold or heard of it? We are fresh off the dock. Ah, so Southfold is this underwater Aryan city that you can find over in the Sheets of Ice. It's very hard to believe it or not. I. Uh... Brody, just because you're speaking in a very thick accent, did you say sheets of ice or a place? Yes. Okay. Like, like think of Antarctica, like the ice sheets. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, they're uh, they're uh, like land, but they're ice. I, I, didn't, I didn't know if you were saying a place or saying sheets yeah, of ice. I get it. Okay. I'm not going to copy a Liverpool accent. I'm not trying to make this hard. So, do you have any other questions? Or would you like to me to recap what he said in a normal voice? If possible, yeah. <laughs> he found the vials in a place called Sal's Vault, 200 miles north from what he remembers. And it's like an Aryan ruin, which is submerged in water uh, over in the ice sheets. Well, overall, we, or at least I greatly thank you for the information you've given us. Uh, Can I stab him? Oh my god. <laughs> Can oh, I... We're already back. We're already back no. to Okay, in his attempt to stab him, I fucking. No, 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 no. I'm not going to stab him. I'm not going to stab him. No, it sounded like he tried to stab him. No, he, he immediately said he was joking. <laughs> I don't even stab him! <laughs> Would you guys like to ask him anything else before you leave? I'm all out of questions. Any... I think... Yeah, I'm out. I, I don't really have shit. I never asked anything. Would you like to? I'm just a bird. <laughs> okay. So, would you all like to leave the tent? Uh, yeah, I think I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready, too. Can we take a tiny second? I have to poop and let my dog, dog up upstairs. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's we, fine. Real, real quick question. Are we going to get into any combat this session or no? It's possible, but I may cut it off if you guys do. It depends. I'm, How much I'm, longer is this session going to go I'm, on? For? I'm totally down to keep going for as long as we can. Uh, the, the whole thing is we started at 8, so technically it's only been like Hour fifty-five minutes. Another hour. Oh, no, I'm okay. down to keep going. Yeah, I'm done. Totally. We have I, about I, another I, hour, but I I may cut it sh a tiny bit short, just because it's like I don't want to be like, okay, guys, we're at two hours fifty minutes. Let's start a combat. 
Okay, I'm gonna poop real quick. And then I'm, I'm totally fine with this th this session just being a story session. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. Also, I would like to point something out. Hmm. Uh, and this is also an explanation as to Jackson and Brandon's disappearance. Cool. I did not forget about them, is what I'll mainly say. And you guys did indeed leave them in Pale Bank Village. Are they doing their own like, is side quest? Fault or is like... It's more of no one woke them up. Oh. <laughs> so it's like, if, if they ever do come back, they're just kind of I, I, like, it's kind of like after you guys stayed in the end, they kind of woke up, tried to figure out where everyone was, and figured it out too late. Okay. So they're Oops. still in college. Whoops. <laughs> by any chance, Brene, or not by any chance, after the session, I do want to talk to you about something. Yeah. Because this has been something I've been thinking about, like, for a while. And as it's long just as you're because... not going to tell me some cringe shit, like I want to do a Mega Mean explosion, that's fine. No, 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 no. This is a little like, bit oh, more of a mind. complex situation. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll be back. Oh, I mean, yeah. You guys can talk about uh, real quick. I'm I mean, cool. I guess I, I could tell you know. now and just give you what, or give you an idea of what I'm thinking. Sure. Yeah. The whole thing is, when I first started the, this game, I guess, I, I made my character like without really a lot of understanding of how it worked, and you know, also just not understanding what everyone else was going to do. Then I kind of realized, like, my character is just kind of the same. And I kind of wanted to do something, like, different with it. But I don't, I, the whole thing is for me to do it, I feel like I would almost need to do a new character. Here's, is it okay. possible for me to do a new character? Like, I, I, I'm kind of, because now that I have more, like, okay. experience, Here's, I kind of want to. Two things I'll say. First off, uniqueness comes at later levels. Okay. Because if everyone doesn't know magic because they're level one, it's like, okay, yeah, of course everyone's going to be similar. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, like, personality and, you know, like that. Because the whole thing is the group is all, like, they all have that weird, like, dark pack backstory. And oh, it's no, yeah, 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 I no. want something yeah. more, like, bright and happy. And, like, I want to be, here, like, the only okay, here, Then uh, another two things. First off, characters can change. No character is supposed to be stoic. You're not stoic, static. Static, okay. You can change however you want. I don't mind. Just don't say, okay, Wraith one day woke up with sunshine and rainbows in his eyes. <laughs> Just like, as, See, long, that, as long as it's not that's sudden. Kinda it's I was, like, that's kind of why I was thinking about making a new character, because I wanted to be that comic relief since no one else did it, but I, I, it's not something I could just say, hey, my character's now big, big bright sun happy days, you know? That's kind of why I wanted to see, like, if uh, there is a way. The second thing I'll that. say is, you can't just make a new character, but you can die. And then have a new character come in. Dying is not in my control. That is the one way to make a new character. Kill yourself. So, and kill just, myself. If, okay, if I like you this idea. kill yourself, you'll be fine. Now, you will you lose some things? Yes. Well, because the whole but, thing is... Hey, I, Part of me was thinking, what if I just let my character die, and then I just made a new character and just have it? Yeah, I no, would it, recommend it, doing that, okay, Luke. I would I say really this. Don't recommend if, that. if your character dies, then you just get to make a new character. You will be out of the session that you die in. Mm -hmm. You don't get to make a new character in the session. But the next session... I like, yeah, it's kind of like, if you die within hour one, you could practically leave the call if you wanted to. Because it's just you're not you're you're not going to be talked to. Wait, Will, is there a reason why it's a bad idea? I'm pretty sure you sure. actually just lose everything, unless Brody mm -hmm. wants to be nice. Oh, well, items and all that. Yes, I, with, items. Yeah, you lose, yeah, you lose I understand. everything. You lose all items, all everything. gold. I'm fine with losing everything. I, I'm, I, my whole idea is basically just being that. a new character. I That's the whole thing. I highly recommend you. Oh, oh, okay. This is what I will say. Bro, if it's I for personality, if it's for personality, don't. If you're saying, instead of a warlock, I want it to be a barbarian, thing. I, I mean, might say, is, okay. One sec, one it sec, is one sec. Like one thing look, I will this say. Is the whole thing. Sorcerer's hard. Luke. I don't, I, I kind of regret Luke. picking it. Or wizard, World, sorry. Wizard's wizard. not hard. You just chose a late game. Okay, think about it like this. Dota, there's early game carries and late game carries. You chose a really late game carry. Later, wizards are fucking OP, dude. 
I don't think you realize that. I know, that. but the whole thing is I don't understand the stuff to make him OP. When I was watching it's, the video about hey, Spellbush, I will say this. I will no say this. Sense. It's not that common. I, I, mean, I will not min-max this fucking game. Yeah, I know. You can, you can play a shitter and still be effective. Yeah. This is the first campaign. I'm, I'm saying I won't be like, okay, I'm going to balance every encounter based on the most overpowered builds for each class. Mm. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying, okay, I'm just going to base on what you guys are currently at. Now, I'm going to lie. If you get stronger, I'll make the encounters stronger. Now, that means you might get better rewards, but it's still a case of fights will only kill you if you strategically fuck up. Or miss a bunch and decide you still want to man up. Okay. I don't know. It's just something I've been thinking about. Because I, I, it's not that I, I don't I, I, like, it's I'll not say that I this. my character. I just, I feel like I could have done something more with it. I just didn't understand how, how D&D yeah, no, you're, time. You're, no, you're, you're, you're totally fine. It's just... I try to make the try to make the most of it because it'll improve how you play in the future. Yeah, I would say I don't, don't just play out. The well, because the whole thing is, I figured that once we figured this whole what's it called, uh, this vile thing or this vile art, I thought it was like okay, now we're doing a new session with new characters. No, but that's low. not how it works. So it's like, oh shit, I might have this character for a while, and I I don't I'm not entirely happy with how I made him, like. We can do more certain I how D D works. I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit more about it because I can work in a new character story wise. It's just it really is gonna depend. It really is gonna depend. I mean, the whole thing is I don't only like do or I don't want to do it if it's like a really big inconvenience. Um, but it's just kind of something I've been thinking I about. Wouldn't, I would say this: it's not an inconvenience for Brody. It's more just it changes the whole. Think about Dynamic. it like this. Uh, 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 what's a good example? What's a really, really good example? Is there There's a, a reason people that play don't play all random deathmatch in Dota? Because <laughs> well, in all random that. deathmatch, you start. You could say, "Oh, I want to start as the class that's strong early." Uh, then end as the class that's strong late, but you lose the experience of playing a full match with that character, having to go through the hard parts as well. I mean, I was going to go more with, like, for him, it won't affect much, but it's just for the other characters. We're still characters in the campaign. Oh, no, yeah, you I... can't just say, like, okay, guys, I'm connected to Azrael, but you know what? Yeah. Fuck him. I'm leaving. Everyone's going to more... <laughs> I would say... See, that's the whole thing. I, when I made my character, I tried to make it complex in adding, like, some relationship with Azriel, and then I kind of realized, like, it, it just got really complicated after that. I, I just kept trying new no. things. The whole thing is... I think I, your idea is I, fine. I, what? No, the, just, idea is, the idea is fine. I, just, I haven't included it yet, because it's like, it's just hey, not, we're starter campaign. It's not... We're not doing that yet. Yeah. It's not gonna happen within a day. We're not... You have to think about it more like Persona. I think it's more... You don't get the I, level 10 Persona. I don't like how everyone's that. fucking so serious. I'm gonna say that now. I think that's just the main thing. I don't like that everyone's so serious. Will's serious. Ethan just likes to kill people. <laughs> and, Shut up. And then, and then there's what? Joseph. And Luke, I kind of want to be like some comedic relief. Luke, I will counter you with this. I literally played... I will counter this. I will counter you this. Gary has a tag on the ship here. Okay, well, I think you're just. I understand what you mean with comedic relief, but it's like you can work that in with Wraith. Yeah, just do it with your character. You've already, you already have been. You've yeah. been doing good with it. What? I know, but I feel like it just doesn't suit the character. That's kind of why I was like, should I be doing this? Does it suit this my is, character? I don't know if this is no, the character. You're a character. Characters change. The whole thing is if you. It's fine as long as your character's like, okay, oh, I got over that. My mom's dead. Eh, oh well. <laughs> ah well. <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> okay. I'd just say I would recommend don't. I'm not you, obviously. 
I'd say don't. That, that, that's, for, that's for you to decide. Don't tell me if you decide you want to or not. Okay. Just okay, kill your okay. character. Uh, Luke suicidal. <laughs> okay. Are you recommending him not to? I mean, I am. Just, uh, I'd rather okay. just... Because I want to play out the whole... Okay, yeah, no. You, you we'll, want to... We'll yeah, continue. Yeah, we'll talk about this in a little bit. Is everyone here, Ethan included? Why does Luke want to kill himself? <laughs> he's a <Totally> coward. <laughs> Uh, he's racist, and now that he's figured out he's black, he wants to die. I'm recording! <laughs> I'm, I'm recording! I know you're recording, but I didn't say anything out of place. I, you know, I, whatever. I said, hey, no, I'm saying this. Wow. Racism shouldn't get you demonetized. I know, I'm just... I'm just, just gotta be sure. And don't worry, I'm not the racist, I'm calling Luke the racist. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I still keep my image. <laughs> I still, I don't know, well, why is this man putting words in my mouth? <laughs> um, it, I'm putting words in your mouth that you gotta deny them. That's 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 the key. Okay. Moving on. So as you all leave the tent for the year that Orba was in, you guys start heading back towards your year. With the information you gathered, what would you like to do? Head north, I guess. Mm -hmm. Is everyone in mm -hmm. agreement? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, as you all come to the conclusion that you do need to travel north, would you guys like to prepare at all? Um, what do you prepare? Yeah. It's more of if. You, you guys don't technically need to prepare at all. You could leave right now. Um, or just saying, is there anything you'd like to do before you leave? Nope. Yeah, I think we're ready. Everyone in agreement? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I do... Uh, I will say, Joseph, do you want to move with your plate on? Will that give me an exhaustion? No, not exhaustion. It's more of just your move speed. Oh, well, it's, it's it, it doesn't actually, it doesn't matter too much. It's just more of, do you want to wear it or do you want to run around and maybe come into the encounter that while you're traveling, you're unarmed. Essentially, I'll, just, I'll wear it. You'll wear it. Okay. And this is a rather big uh, decision that I'm gonna put on you guys real quick. It is not too bad, so don't worry. Don't kill me for about it. it too much. What speed would you guys like to go? Would you guys like to go slow, a medium, or a fast pace? I'd Based on the move pretty damn close. I'd say uh, medium, medium. Mm -hmm. I will. I will say this: slow is like a stealth, where it's every encounter you get to essentially choose if you want to engage it. Mm -hmm. Medium, there's a chance you don't get away, or it all depends on how your cards play. Fast, you're getting into the encounter. Okay. Medium. Um, medium. Medium. Bird? Wraith? Sounds good to me. Cool. So you guys start your adventure. You guys move at about 18 miles a day. And this is mainly just due to Joseph's slow walking, slow walking speed. So as you all trek on, Roll for. Would you guys like to talk, continue to march until you reach the area? Uh, I don't know. I'm the follower here. <laughs> you guys, you guys make a decision as well. What do you guys think? Um, I'm kind of good either way. I'm gonna be real. Whatever happens, happens. So. Yeah, I, I can. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, okay. So as you all march, moving 18 miles per day, sleeping and taking turns with watch, on the midday of about day seven, you guys come across, and this is right before, actually, yeah, this is right before you guys are moving more towards the ice sheets, so this is while you're still on land. You guys come across a bridge and a little just river on the other side of the bridge. And I mean, just real quick, uh, there we go. It was pretty set up. Oh, you're tiny. Mm -hmm. Uh, how would you guys like to tackle this bridge? Search for one of the bridge. Uh, Jack? There, there, is, there, is, there is room on the other sides of the river. There, this little river goes on for quite some time. Yeah, can I walk up to one of the embankments of the river and check underneath? Would anyone like to follow you? Uh, I will. I'll stay back. I don't really want to... I don't want to mess with the troll. They Maybe scare me. Pairs. So as, as you two advance forth, Ethan, you take a quick gander underneath the bridge, being careful not to step on the rocks, and you see it's a normal bridge. All right. But as you are now closer, you start hearing groans in the distance. All right. And you're not entirely sure if they're human growth. All righty. Um, Can Insight tell us anything, if I roll Insight? Uh, what are you insighting? Uh, if they are... So human. Insight gives you the true intentions of a creature. Yeah. What creature are you insighting? Well, okay, but then can I do an investigation to tell if it's human? Uh, sure. Okay. I was thinking if that might be perception, but I guess investigation is more correct. Five. I was going uh, to offer up some guidance, but I guess you not. cannot tell. <laughs> cool. So there's just faint groaning in the distance. Uh. Without seeing anything under the bridge, I decide to start walking forward across. Uh, I'll go back to the group and tell them that there's groans coming from the distance, so be be on watch. Would you guys also like to move forward, or would you guys like to stay far back? Uh, we should have Joseph lead if he has the highest AC. Yeah. Would you like to let Joseph lead? And the, yeah. Joseph, are you here? Have Joseph lead, have me and uh, Wraith be in the back, like... In like both both third position, and have uh, Nornik follow behind Geary. Sounds that sounds fine with me. Can I hear that plan though? Uh, you cannot hear it, but you can infer that talking is going on, and you can wait to see yeah. what they're doing. Okay, well, I'll just chill I'll in the you. middle of the bridge. I'll tell you. Okay, what. and we're gonna wait for Joseph. Joseph is dead. He is muted. Oh, I've been muted this whole time. Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll go ahead and I'll follow. I'll, I'll leave. Okay. okay. So as you all walk at a slow pace to ensure that Joseph is staying on the front, eventually they catch up to Ethan. Ethan, would you just like to fall in line? Yes. So you fall in line and you slowly cross this bridge. As you cross the bridge, the groans start getting louder, and Joseph, out of the corner of your eye... Actually, let me just double-check something. Wait, are they undead? Oh, I am very good against undead. Uh, I don't think it matters. Just a reminder, though, that I have 120 feet of true... I did not make a true, vis true vision? True dark vision? True... I more say this because Joseph's leading your hiding yeah, behind yeah. him. Yeah, I know, I know. I can, I can donate in my sword so we can get some light. It's midday. I know, that's what I, no. that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Just making sure it wasn't Awkward. like midnight. Okay. 
So you do see something kind of hiding in the shade of a tree. Groaning a little bit. Can I run an investigation check? Free V-Bucks! Free V-Bucks. Uh, we'll roll an initiation once we do something worth, it, worth initiating. So wait. Does that mean I can't or can't? can't? You can, but it's like, it's more of, instead of rolling initiation, say, I want to cast this. And then I say, okay, roll initiation. Well, I, no, I said investigation. Oh, investigation? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I thought you yeah. said initiation, so I was like, oh, why no. the fuck? I'm gonna be fair. I thought, he, I thought he said initiation, too. I, I thought he said okay. initiation, as well. But I'm also casting guidance beforehand. So do you cast a cloud of daggers? That, well, why did you cast a cloud of daggers? That was, accident. that was an accident. I said that earlier. <laughs> okay. Three again. And investigation. Okay. 17, so 20. 17, so 20. So, from what you can see, this looks like almost like a ghostly figure kind of just hiding under this tree. I mean, you're like, I'm still you can tell that it, although looks human, is no longer human. It's fucking animal. Is it an undead? Um, From what you can tell, it is mean? undead. Can I also my, do wait, 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 before anything. Can my sword tell me if it's hostile? Or if warns of uh, in danger is more specific. To, pull, to figure out if the sword is warning, you have to have it out of its sheath. Do you, would you like to unsheath it? Correct. As you pull it out, the sword is quite violently shaking. Okay. <laughs> you are in quite a lot of danger. Can I roll an Arcana check on it? On the beast? Yeah. Uh, sure. Okay. Can I walk up to him and give him a hug? Rolling guidance for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's let Ethan have his turn and then we can. Four. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you're going to hug. <laughs> no, Luke is now, Rain is now hugging the beast. <laughs> is, this, is, is this the ideal way to suicide my character? <laughs> You can you can sense a magical energy, but not one emanating from him. More of one holding him together. So it's rat. So you can tell he can't. He doesn't have too much magical properties about him. Okay. But he isn't a being so a like, natural. So this is a weird comparison, but he's like Pudge. Yeah. Fucking Dota references. The well, Dota good references are funny. It is, uh, it's a good reference. I like it. I like to Joseph. I, no, cast, no, I, I, I grab. Uh, okay, let me put this in, pers- in perspective. Pudge is a patchwork, essential undead demon who just attaches himself. Like, he steals your arm and attaches it to himself. Oh. Really? So it's a being whose magic holds him together. He's not of natural prowess. Mm hmm. That's what dismembered. Pudge. <laughs> what, what would I, everyone like to do? Uh, I. Oh, shit. You know what I can do? So this thing's obviously an undead. Uh, this thing is an undead. <laughs> it's just your cult if you want to engage it or not. Uh, does it. Does it look frail? No. It does not look frail. Does it look like undying? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, it is not a tower. It is kind of like the size of a normal person. Okay. Um, I, I'd, I'd say maybe like five foot. And this seven. thing is looking at us? No. It is kind of just groaning while hiding under the shade of a tree. Um, give me one sec. It is, looking, it is looking forward, though. If you were to go in its line of sight, it would see you. Can I roll stealth? Uh, where is this guy's fucking... Wait, before you do that... You can if you'd like. All right. And I'm... Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm you, know, you don't need to do anything I... with it yet. I'm just more... You can roll stealth. Casting guidance. It's for... daytime, though, right? It's daytime, yeah, but you can still stealth in daytime. Well, uh, okay. And stealth. Or your sword is a flashbang. That 20! So 27. 
27. 24 with a guidance. Oh. So P.S. I can use yeah. guidance on anybody, so if you want a guidance, hit me up. Anything that isn't an attack. <laughs> hit me up. It's a skill booster. But is it a... Enter. Uh, Enter. So you are stealth, Ethan. I cannot tell you if this worked, believe it or not. <laughs> no, if it didn't work, I'd be very concerned. So, uh, Joseph, is there anything you'd like to do before I... Or anything anyone else would like to do before I continue, Ethan? Uh... <clears throat> Let me think here. Uh, okay. While he's thinking, I throw I my am thing. going to get in its line of sight, but at a distance. Trying to, to die. Sight? At a distance. Are you trying to stay out of its sight, or are you no, trying... No, no, I'm, just, I'm trying no, to in line see of me, but in, like, from far away, so it takes a while for it to get to me. It's like a... Yeah. Breaks the speed of sound. So uh, as Joseph starts walking, would anyone else like to do anything? Um, can I start I, I want to stay in the back. Just put me in the back. I don't really want to do uh, it. You, yeah, just... <laughs> you can't sneak behind Joseph. Well, I mean, so like, would you like to do anything? Okay. I was sneaking up to him. Yeah. Uh, like sneaking would up. Like to sneak, the guy. Would you like to sneak like up here? Yeah. Okay. So you'll sneak there. Just as it keeps it's, walking. It's only the, the one, one we know of, right? Yeah. As I'm walking, I just hear my stomach rumble. <laughs> it's only the one, right? There's no. It is only one person. Yes. Creature. Hmm. I'll stealth. Okay. I'm just I'm getting this thing's attention so you guys can stealth. I'm sitting back. So Sorry, let me just... I don't really want to mess with this thing unless yeah, I know it can kill. Okay, if this 17? thing can kill, I'll mess yeah. with it. Oh my God, why is uh, this thing die? Luke, would you like to do anything? I'm just like I said. I'm just gonna stay in the back for now. Okay. And let me just real quick do something keep, before. Keep I... range. Before I forget, oh, not what I want. Yeah, sorry. Give me a second. I, I reloaded my page and it put me on a different fucking world. World twenty there. <laughs> we got a number one to reroll. Okay. Yeah, and we're now about to okay. It down. So let me real quick. Add this guy's stats in just so I can properly do this. Okay. So, Will, your stealth, would you like to stay where you are next to Luke, or would uh, you like to move somewhere with someone? I would like to go left of of uh, Gary, but like, like that? What, Do we have left, to mess with left. this dude? Like, why can't we just leave him alone? Or is oh, he like sure. in the way that we have yeah. to go? It's an, it's an undead. I want to kill this thing. Well, we should first figure out if it's uh, like truly, truly hostile towards us. So, Gary, can you be bait for a sec? Yeah, that's why I'm walking okay. in front of him. Okay. Gary, can you bait? <laughs> uh, I'll back you up if, if okay. shit goes wrong. Yeah, Give me just one second. I want to really quickly. I'm calculating 30 strength. How much? <laughs> okay. Let's do that in a second. So, Joseph, what would you like to do? Uh, am I in front of Am I in its vision? Uh, no. Would you like to continue walking? Yes. And, uh, Will, do you want to walk with them? No. I, I, I'll stay back. Okay. So, Joseph, as you step forward... You step into its cone of vision, just right there, and it kind of sees you in the groaning, abruptly stops. You see it start slowly, very slowly, pushing itself off the ground. Okay, what would so you like to do? Obviously, obviously, senses me and it's coming gonna come towards me. Um... Well, I'm gonna, gonna look what I can do real quick. Don't too much. Um, continue sneaking up. Can I ask uh, why Joseph wants to kill an undead? How far is this thing in front of me, Brody? 
I'll hide you right there. Uh, this thing is about 25 feet in front of you. Probably in front of me. Perfect. I. I'm not too concerned. Am going to just stand my ground. Give me the command to fire, and I'll fucking blast it. You fucking miss, knowing your luck. Okay. Oof. Wow. Colin. So you just stand still, let it get up. You're gonna fucking hit me. Yes. Uh, Luke, would you like to do anything? Uh, let me just stay in your will. I want to stay kind of as far away from this thing as I can because none of my spells have worked. Up so you, you kind of shimmy your way under the shadow of the tree near. Yeah. Uh. Well, I'll put your tiny bit more in the shadow. Just I'll pull a monkey king right. and start jumping across the trees. Just, just, as you wait, you let it fully get itself off of the ground. And now it's kind of just staring at you. You see a bloodlust in its eyes as it stares towards you. <laughs> Would you like to do anything else? Uh, uh, yes. I what would you like to do? Like to, um, let's see here. What, uh, Brody, on my spells, there's a little mm. C's. I mean, combat. C's concentration, most likely. Concentration. Okay. C is meaning you can only re you can only really do one of them, and if you want to hold it, you need to keep concentration. Meaning you can't be unconscious, and you can't cast another concentration spell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I would like to cast. Uh, actually, no. Um, yeah, I would like to cast. No, I'll just I'll make noise. I'll get I'll get it to walk towards me. So would that be what like in? Intimidation, or just, just, just it has a bloodless in his eyes and it wants to come towards me. Do I just, so I don't you, you, you just want to bang your shield? Yeah. Okay. You bang your shield, everyone roll initiation. You be Kai Yay. Yeah, baby. Okay, so is, <laughs> does he even have some fucking like raw program? Fuck, I'm stupid. And I'll just put on oh, wait, music. I have to roll two. I really, I really hope this thing rolls a zero. An 11. Oh, is that like two net 20s in a row? Oh my god, it is. Ethan's full of okay. shit. I really hope Ethan rolls over. I really hope this thing rolls a zero. It, it's fine if I rolled it twice instead of hit roll. Fuck, I should have cast right? a compel. Yeah, that's fine. Because okay, okay. I forgot to hit roll with advantage. I should have cast a compel. Okay, so, Joseph got a 1. I have an 18. And you got an 11. Let me double check all of this is. I just remembered what my friend told me his D&D &D character was. Do you guys mind if I tell you real quick? Sure. It was a uh, orc warrior who had like a 20 strength but was dumb as shit, but he thought he was super smart, so in every fight, what he told me was uh, instead of fighting them, he would play them a game of chess, and when he lost, he just mashed their head in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Ethan, you get to go first. Okay. First, I want to use my Tales from Beyond. Tales from Beyond. Uh, what is that? <laughs> um, so I use up one of my uh, Bardic Inspirations to roll a uh, a D12 to determine what um, like buff or debuff I can gain. And then using that at a later point in time, I can bestow it on an enemy or a teammate. What is this called? It's called a... It's, uh, called Beyond. it's my college. It's called College of Spirits. Okay, go ahead and use a Bardic... Oh. Click a Bardic Inspiration, and roll a nat 12 to see what happens. Inspiration, d12, roll. A 5. So that... So, the Avenger. Avenger. Okay. 
So, you cast it on him, yeah? No, I, I'm just, I'm holding it for myself till I decide when I want to use it. So I just oh, okay. It. Um, which I'm pretty Actually, sure. you, have, uh, you have to choose a target. Do I have to? Wait. No, Joseph I did um, determine a tail. Oh. The determine a tail is you, like, keep one in mind for later use. Okay, okay, yeah. No tail is using it. Tails from Boar. Okay, Bo okay, 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 yeah. So you have the Avenger tail. Yes. Uh, do you have any bonus action you'd like to do? Um, no. Actually, okay. yes. Oh, yes. I, do? I want to use an actual bardic inspiration on Joseph. Mm. Okay, go ahead and click another one and roll an at six. Okay, hit Joseph, click your inspiration and it's a two. keep what this is. So keep it two. Uh, and so, hold on, so what do I do? Uh, just click, you see above, or next to your walking speed, just inspiration, just click that, and know that you can add plus two to any roll you choose. Or, not any roll, but any... Action Ability roll. check, attack roll, or saving throw. Okay. Uh, next up is gonna be... Well, what would you like to do? I will like... To cast Eldritch Blast. I would like to be seen as equal. <laughs> I'd like to cast Eldritch Blast. Uh, okay, go ahead and cast Eldritch Blast. This is, gonna be like, is this gonna be like the bat's will? Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Fuck, nine. Uh, that does not hurt. <laughs> so, you fire an Eldritch Blast, zipping past his left and just going much farther into the forest, to the point where you barely even hear the explosion. Nice, Will. Uh, next up is... I turn to Asriel and I go, squeak, squeak! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me... I don't know where I put my... Sorry, Will, I had to. <laughs> wow. Cries an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... Okay. So it... Upon seeing Joseph and not being fully aware of Ethan's presence, although it did hear something, it... Sh it because you casted a spell! No, I didn't. Does it not count? Nope, it's I'm not pretty spell. sure that. Because I'm pretty sure it's just you did an action. Doing an action. Yeah, wait, what? Breaks. Breaks stealth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ethan's a dip shot. <laughs> yeah, okay. Any, even if you did, like. Wow. Okay. Yeah, because, like, if you. Even if you missed a. Uh, or not missed. If, even if you casted. Fuck, what's it called? Okay. Uh, inspiration or whatever. Like. So, Joseph, as it runs up to you, it's. So, uh, it kind of kind of throws a punch at you. Does an attack roll of twenty three hit? What the fuck? Or a hit roll, I should say. No, yes, attack. it it does. Okay. <laughs> See the damage though. Okay. This damage could be cracked. This damage could be cracked. Uh, Joseph, you take... 30 damage. <laughs> 9 damage. Oh. Oh. And after it punches you directly in the chest, it goes for another punch, but narrowly misses. Can I do a react? No, I can't do a reaction. I'm just kidding. Uh, Wait, Joseph, how much HP do you have? 28, max. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm telling you right now, that would have been close to one shotting me. Uh, Luke, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, okay, I want to check something. Rogue has the advantage thing. Is that only after coming out of stealth, though? Yes. Uh, let me check. I'm pretty sure. Wait, what do you mean by that, actually? Let, 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 let me check. I, I got this. Yeah. Uh, so you... Yeah, wait. 
Now I'm confusing myself. Wait, what was your question, Luke? I'm curious if I have to go into stealth uh, if I want to get that advantage roll. Yes. Yes. Okay, so for sneak attack, you need an advantage, but you do not need an advantage if another enemy of the target is within five feet of it. The enemy isn't... Wait. If the, the enemy isn't incapacitated or you don't have a disadvantage on the attack roll. So because I'm far away, I have an advantage? Is that what I'm hearing? So essentially, because you don't have a disadvantage, because the enemy isn't incapacitated, and Joseph is near it, you can do sneak attack to roll an extra okay. d6 for your damage. But for sneak attack, all of those need to apply if you don't have an advantage on your next Okay, okay. If well, you have an advantage on the first one, I need to see that. So I don't have an advantage this turn? Uh, I think coming out of stealth, you do. Okay, so that means I'd have to stealth first. Yeah, if you were to stealth on an attack, it, you could, but you're technically not stealth. But you can still sneak attack because he doesn't see you. Okay, how awesome does sneak fight. attack work? Uh, you did, you just, roll your normal damage and you extra? add a D6. Yeah, okay, you so add a D6. Extra. Um, then I will launch... Could I do yeah. it with a spell, right? I could do it with a spell? It's ranged or finesse weapons. Finesse? Yeah. So your scimitar is a finesse weapon. Mm. Well, I'm just curious if I can use magic missile and then add it. Um... Because if not, then maybe firebolt, but... Or if none of those work, I'll have to use the scimitar. <laughs> I'll say range spells work. I'm not sure if they do. Actually, let me check. Let me just check real quick. This music's kind of pog, though. Uh, you cannot. I cannot. So it need, would need to be with the Scimitar if you want the stealth attack bonus. Okay. Well, then... As of now, I guess I can just cast Firebolt. It's so not really... I'm curious. You gotta test out all things, you know? It's like Persona. So we'll, we'll do Firebolt. Is that good? Uh, roll to hit. 17 or 20... Does a 20 hit? If he says no, I'll cry. Uh, so a 20 does indeed hit. Roll damage. And then damage. Oh, I actually got pog damage. Uh, so you do seven damage to <laughs> him. Uh, Joseph, it's your turn. What would you like to do? <clears throat> How to fucking murder this thing? <clears throat> what am I hearing? Um, I'm gonna cast Divine Smite. Is that a spell? Or is that a... What is that? That's a spell. Wait. Uh, and I'm going to use two spell slots for it. So... I use... Uh, my normal... Oh, I have to roll for oh, you, know, you, you have to hit him with your melee attack if you want to use it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to hit him. I'm going to flail. Oh, fuck. Does a 12 hit? <laughs> a 12... Doesn't hit. Fuck. Uh, do you have any bonus Wait. action you'd like to do? Yeah, I do. Would 14 hit? Wait. Uh, why? Uh, can I add the Bardic Inspiration to it? Or is it too late? Okay. Normally, it's too late. I will let you do it, though. Okay, 
Does keep in mind it? for the future. For I the future, before. it's before I say if it hits. You can roll, okay. see it's a twelve, and then say, "Okay, I want to add it." But okay, as soon as okay. I it's a twelve, and I say it hits or it doesn't hit, then you're out. Right. My, that's my bad. My bad. Yeah, for the one time, I will allow it. A fourteen okay. does hit. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna cast. Uh, uh, well, what are you hitting him with? Flail. Okay. So roll your damage on the flail. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> and I'm gonna cast three d8s, which it takes two spell slots. Jesus. Uh. For a sum of twenty damage. So, I'm just making sure. Do you have second set level spell slots? I don't see that you do. I can. I have three spell slots. Those are second first level. level. Uh, does it take second level spell slots? Uh, the first one takes first, but if you want to add plus, it's a spell level higher than first. Oh, so do I? So it only be the two d eights. Don't. Okay, so I reroll. Yeah, reroll the two d eights. Right. That's my bad. That's fine. It's fourth. You gotta make sure you're not. I got even more damage. So twelve. <laughs> so twenty-one. Okay, you do a sum of twenty-one damage, and. Do... Oh wait, plus, plus 1d8 against undead or fiends. So I guess roll another d8. God, this is 6. 27 damage. 27? Gotcha. Jesus Christ. Christ. You do 27 damage? Yeah. Uh, so I so only, only used one spell. You kind of smack it with your mace in an uppercut fashion. And then as you hit it, just a beam of a light. Ex or I should say your flail starts to glow and almost like a holy light explosion happens from the ball of your flail. Completely just demolishing this guy. Glad I didn't use magic. He is very much still standing. Oh, oh and very, very much. much still looking at you. Uh, <laughs> can we tell? Can we tell? Like what condition he's in? Uh, he is. I would say mildly injured. So, uh, you guys want? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so here's. Okay. Okay. And by my, I, I, it's like a mix between mildly and. Injured. You could say he's just injured. It's just I don't. I'm not sure how what scale you guys think I'm using. If it's healthy, injured, severely injured, and on the brink of death, he's injured. Okay. Halfway there, boys. <laughs> I really want to do my combo. Do it. So, do Ethan, it. Okay. it is your turn. What would you like to do? I would like to bestow my Tales from Beyond Tail on myself. <laughs> okay. Just kidding, I don't even know what it does, so I can't do anything. Real quick, how far away is the bad guy from me? The bad guy? He is... You, can count. you can't count, but I, will, I can also do it for you. Yippee, yippee, and 20. 20 feet, okay. Yes. Joseph's 25, Phil's 25. But I, I knew this would be scary when you said, there's a 24 hit, <laughs> or a 23. <laughs> okay, he rolled like a fucking 17 on his first, or I forget what it was. It was something really high, though. Jesus. Okay, and... Say it wasn't a nat 20. That is all I will do, but can I actually uh, like announce to the party what the Avenger does? Oh yeah, you can tell people what it does okay. if you want. So do you want to tell he, in character, or just do you want to tell them? Uh, I'll just tell them because I can't okay. really like. Tell in character. So you guys have to keep this in mind. So, um, any attack that you get hit by now, you can use a reaction to deal um, force damage to the person. So a d6 roll. So if you get hit, you couldn't have casted that earlier. <laughs> it took. It takes an action to use an action to uh, bestow. 
bonus action to just bestow. Cool. Tales from Beyond. Yeah, so you could have used it earlier. <laughs> oh no, I used my. I used Actually, my no, no, yeah, no. It, doesn't matter. it, takes, two it, it, it takes two actions. Takes... You can use a bonus to figure out what tail it is. So yeah. technically, it takes you could have attacked to explain uh, it. then figured out your tail. Yeah, but I know. It also it takes that. one to explain. Don't forget, it takes one to explain. <laughs> <laughs> it takes um, five yeah. actions to explain. So here, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll read it word for word. For one minute, whenever a creature the target can see within 30 feet of it is damaged by a creature, the target can use reaction to deal force damage equal to a roll of your bardic inspiration die to the attacker. So anybody within my range gets damaged by someone else, they can get they can use a reaction to deal a d6 roll back onto the person or a creature. So if Joseph were to get attacked again, he could use a reaction and deal force damage to him. I will not remember this for you. Yeah, so fucking remember. So it's right only, you, only you can do it. No, 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 no. no. Ethan, I, anybody okay, I see, this. any creature... Okay, I don't Let I me lost. explain it. Let me explain it. I'm lost. Ethan is a buffing ward. He sits there, and while you're in 30 feet of him... You can, whenever you're attacked, make a reaction to punch the guy in the face. 30, 30 feet and uh, within my line of sight. In sight line. So if oh, Ethan gets blinded, you no longer have the buff. So yeah. Make sure to stay within 30 feet and line up my sight. And you get to fucking rock him, sock him. If you get ever get and I will recount that... We can all do it? Yes. Uh, yeah, anyone any within 30 feet. Uh, right now, Wraith can... You can, Azrael can. Azrael could if he stepped five feet forward, though. So I can, uh, I if he hits me, I can do it or cannot do yeah, it. Can. Yeah, when, he, when he hits you, you can make a reaction. Um, <gasps> Joseph. Yeah. Actually, question question to the DM. Hmm. Does my darkness affect teammates? Darkness, uh, is that the? No, you being black does not affect me. <laughs> oh wow, we're really going there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a very non-racist comment. It's just saying. Yeah, yeah I'm just I, saying. I, I don't. Well, what's wrong? Seriously, uh, Jesus, Luke. My bad. Yes, my it does. Bad. Okay, it's literally just pit of black. Yeah, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Joseph, mm -hmm. or sorry, Geary. Oh. I can take like I could make this fight last a year. <laughs> no, I can make the fight easier, but I would be the only one with it. Or he would get dis. Actually, yeah, you would get disadvantage. Wait, what? Gary would get disadvantage. Okay. What? Well, what are you? What? What is your plan? Cast darkness and run up at it. And why do you want to do that? All, then we all right. use the damage we get when it hits me or someone else. Let me, uh, let me crack my knuckles real quick, okay? What? Story time with the DM. Darkness. Magical darkness spreads from a point you choose, within range to fill a 15-foot radius sphere for the duration. Correct. Darkness spreads around corners. A creature with dark vision can't see through this darkness. I have and none true dark light. vision. That doesn't matter. Yes, it does, though. Does it? Yes. That's the whole reason why I went with that Eld Eldritch Invocation. Is that- does it, does it give you that? Where did yes. it say this? I, 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 you have to go to the fucking- True Sight? Yeah, wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh... True Sight? That's the Dota competition. No, it's not true. I got it. <laughs> Double Sight. You can see in normal hmm? darkness, both magical and non-magical, at a distance of 120 feet. Okay, that's fair then. Yeah. So it would work for me. I could- I could- it, it, it's- why is it not appearing on your buffs then? I don't know. I have it. I know it. Bye. I have it because it says I have 120 feet of it. Bless you. But it doesn't say that I have the uh, demon sight or devil sight or whatever it's called. Is it in features and traits? <coughs> Fuck. Okay, yeah, I have to, it's in it, features and traits. Okay, that's fine then. I don't know why that doesn't appear. That's really weird. I thought you were capping really hard. No, 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 no. I I was okay, so yeah, you can do that. But it's your call. Yeah, I mean, I could cast... It's either... Gary, it's either I, I can keep casting Eldritch Blast at it, if you think we you can kill it on your own, or I can come up, it get disadvantage on its shit. Well, think about it this way. I have... I can do that attack two more times. Okay. 
Okay. I, I mean, I. Well, I if I you want to bank on me getting more twenty, because gonna... keep in mind, I got an eight on my normal damage. Yeah. Roll. Okay. I'll I'll bank on you. I'll bank on you. I'll just cast. I'll just cast. Uh, Eldritch. We just need. We just need. Uh, what's it called? Yeah. I'll just um, actually here. I'll walk. I'll walk. Uh, five feet forward so I can be in range and I'll cast Eldritch. Okay. Because I think as of right now, I'm our main damage dealer. Go, go ahead and 14. roll it. 14, 14 does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Fuck. One sec. Uh, 12. Lovely. You actually hit something. Uh, it is... It's, it's turn. It is bra... It is bra moment time. Okay, uh... That's a bro moment. Wait, is it my turn? Yes. Oh, it's the monster's turn. I'm gonna see if you're looking at me. And it was quiet, so I was like, wait, I thought you said Wraith for a sec. I'm just. I was looking at Will because he just, I was just blasting him. Cat, let me, let me touch your cat. Actually, no, I guess I did do 27 damage to him, so he's probably still looking at me. Okay. Okay. I don't know. So... I'm kind of just trusting you don't miss. Yeah, no, that's 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 going to have to be our thing Joseph, here. the Revenant kind of grabs you by the shoulder and looks intently into your eyes. Uh -oh. Roll a wisdom saving throw. Fuck. Ten. Fuck. Okay. Uh, so as he does this, you are... Yeah, you are paralyzed. Fuck. And you kind of are just shocked there with fear. Uh, Luke, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Now I am scared. I don't have any support shit, so... Just do damage. Because a river, you have ice knife. No, no I don't. I ain't, I ain't equipped that shit. Nani? Nani? <laughs> do I have the stuff required for mage armor? Uh. He does, he does he indeed. I know. I for have a fact the cured leather. I have I, the cured leather. I know for a fact you do. Do you not? Yeah, have yeah, you, you... <laughs> okay, yes, you do have a leather tablecloth. Oh my table! <laughs> the table was missing. The table. <laughs> yes, give me armor to Joseph. You can't. Yeah, you can't. No, wait. you have to touch him, and he has to not be wearing armor. Ah damn! Read your spells. I, I just know you can give armor. Um, oh, he you wanna... has armor. I guess I can give it to Will, but. I have a I have a double reaction right now. I think I think I'm pretty safe. Okay, fine. I got so excited. You I can was give like, it to oh, your, You I can mainly just give it to yourself to ensure you don't get absolutely destroyed. Yeah, I'll just do that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get one shot with my 12 HP. <laughs> do I have to roll for it or? Uh, no. You just touch yourself. Um, <laughs> I just touch is... my... I'm gonna be right back. Uh, your on. Dex mod is plus two. Your AC is now 15. Oh, thank God. Does that mean I just uh, do this? It's not going to help. He rolled a 17 and got a 23 out of it. <laughs> Shit. Do I... Uh, do Keep in mind, I kind of scuffed those numbers on purpose, Joseph. I could be lying. I could be telling the truth. Oh, wow. Uh, wait, Birdie, do I, I click the spell thing now, right? Uh, you, you, you cast it. Yeah, yeah okay, cool. So I've already not... taken note of it. Just make do sure... I have a, uh, do I have a secondary... Uh, thing or no? No, you don't have any bonus actions. I don't have a bonus action. Okay. And last but not least is Joseph. Would you like to squirm in terror? Does that give me safety or not? No, being... no, no, it doesn't. Does squirming in terror <laughs> do damage? <laughs> no. Uh, I guess sure. <laughs> you kind of squirm and tear. Okay, Ethan, yeah. what would you like to do in your turn? You're gonna have me roll something. Um, I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> Forget, yeah. like to investigate the chair. 
<laughs> I I would like to move to how way how far away is Joseph? Twenty feet. Right? Joseph is twenty five feet. Twenty five. Okay, I would like to move in between Joseph and uh, the Revenant. Stand right behind him, or stand right, where right you are? In be- right in between Joseph and the Revenant. I use my short statue, stature to go right in between them. So, like, do you slide in between? Yes. Okay, I'll have you push Joseph aside a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I would like to cast Thunder Wave level 2. Thunderwave level 2. Okay. What is this guy's con save? Who just got shot? It doesn't work. It doesn't Well, work. I haven't cast it yet. You said you wanted to cast Thunderwave, yeah? Yeah, but I haven't casted it yet. Oh, wait, attack save. It needs a con 14. So, you casted it, roll your damage. So he didn't get bu- he didn't get blasted yeah. back when he takes the damage? Uh, so you do 5 damage in total. Mm-hmm. But uh, he didn't get back, did he? So, Will, what would you like to do? Take this now. Wait. Quick, 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 quick. It's a revenant, right? Mm-hmm. Does that count wait, as a zombie? Wait, is it a zombie uh, or a revenant? Because I thought it was a zombie. Uh, it's From what kind you of... can tell now, it's a revenant. Does oh. that count as undead? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Then I can still do my. Button. Yeah, I, I was just curious because it's like. That makes a lot really... more sense in my head because I was like, "Damn, you tanked!" <laughs> like out of out of character, I was like, "Damn, you tanked up a zombie's HP." <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's it's not a zombie. It's not a zombie. Don't search up this. No, I don't. Didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I just, I just, no, I just know what I just know what a revenant is. Um, shit, <laughs> fuck. What do I want to do? Uh, let me look at my shit for a sec. Quick sec. Kind of against the rules, but okay. <laughs> what, look at my gear and see what I can. What? I kid. I know, but I'm confused. Uh. Look at that cold. <sighs> okay, I. This is what I'll do. I'm gonna. Eldritch Blast, and then as my uh, bonus action, I want to cast uh, Expeditious Retreat. So you want to Eldritch Blast? And then cast Expeditious Expedit- Ex- Re- Retreat, which gives me uh, six uh, fucking extra movement speed. Or not. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, speed. yeah. Okay. No, it allows you to dash. Yeah. Okay. So, go ahead and roll your hit. Does a 24 hit? That hit, yes. (laughs) And a damage Birdie was like, don't even ask the question. Don't even ask Uh, it. Uh, 7. Yep. Just make sure you click that Expeditious Retreat is clicked. Yep. And would you like to move? Uh... Okay. Well, you can't really. You can move thirty this turn, but you can't dash this turn. Yeah. Uh. By the way, I will I'll, do this for you. I'll move. Yeah. The only reason I, there's a reason why I have that. It's. Uh, I I won't move for now. It's the wrong screen. Yeah, I won't move. For why now. is he? Wait, why are you going all the way back? I'm not. He's just showing me what's sixty feet. No. Probably didn't mean okay. to. But uh, Lordy, did you fuck hey. up your squares again? No, the squares are actually five feet. Once. Oh, the squares are five feet. They're just uh, like you can see them. There's the images squares and my squares. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm just—it's like it can get really confusing at times. 
Um, next turn is the Revenants. So after pushing Geary aside, the Revenant starts looking at you, cranks back its fist, and lays one out. Does a 20 hit. Is this uneven? Wait. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. You take <laughs> seven damage. Oh, bad. Am I still terrorized, by the way? Does a 19 hit? It does. Wait, was he at Do you take that? So you take that seven damage, and then you take 14 damage. <laughs> oh, what just happened? He oh, just killed me. My God. So Ethan is Ethan. now, Ethan Why is now fighting for his life. That was my, so that fuck, was my how job. How are you supposed to do twenty-one damage? Okay, okay, okay. Dude, that was my job to suicide myself. Was... Wait, he attacked him twice. Indeed, he did. How, wait, is this how... some? Is this some fucking like? Joseph, he attacked about... you twice. He just missed the first time. Oh yeah, because he's swinging with his fist, so he gets the second action. Holy oh, shit! My fucking God. <laughs> Okay. Very here's, scary. Here's the prep talk. Luke, you're gonna have to cast like a shit ton of magic missiles, by the way. My plan. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can only cast two more. Cast them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kill this thing. Yeah, I, we're, I'm falling back uh, on okay. I'm, I'm falling I mean, back it's on, just on will my and word. Me. It's just will and me. Nope, now. I'm running in. Oh, you're running in? Yeah. And I'm still alive, I'm just terrorized. If I can if I can I roll am. a saving throw, then I can attack. <laughs> Could we roll a saving throw for Joseph, similar to how, like, in Persona, you can, like, help each other uh, out? Let me see something real quick. Okay. So, Joseph, because the paralysis ends and you are frightened, you can still do all your actions, but... Skill actions and attack actions have disadvantage. So I can't Divine Smite? You can't. It's but just going to be at a disadvantage. Wait, so what do you... So the no. hit... Would he, still be at dis, would he still be at disadvantage if the th creature was at disadvantage? Mark, you have a question. He's there. at disadvantage as long as the Revenant is within his line of sight. Okay. Oh, what the shit? Wait. But what if it's not line of sight because of... Uh, you just... can, but that's after his turn. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm asking then... for after. Okay. Yeah. Um. Then I'm gonna. Oh, Keep in mind, Ethan monster. is dead on the floor. Honestly. Oh. Mm. Fuck. Okay. He he's at his death save part. <sighs> wait, wait, Ethan. I do. Oh, brother, 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 I do have a second level spell slot. You do? Because I have apparently I have second level spells. You have a second level spell, but that's not a second level spell slot. Like on my character, I have a second level spell slot. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know how this works, and I'm dumb. All right, whatever. Hey, okay. Um, like if here, quick, quick. Oh no. Okay, never mind. Okay. I, Do you uh, see how next to spells it says uh, spell slots or first level spells? Yeah. Another second level. There's no squares. That. Mm, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, I clicked past that trace. Know that you still have it, even if it's grayed out. You still have it. Mm -hmm. Um, I just realized something. Wait. Okay, I'm. Oh, that's I'm. Like, that's. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna gonna go for a hit, and if I hit, then I'll add divine smite. Uh, roll hit at disadvantage. Oh, oh fuck! You do not. You do not hit. Wow! Neither of those hit. Yeah, I don't get a second action because that was my. Actually, uh, that was would you like to move at all? Um. Keep in mind, you can cast spells as a, sec a bonus action. Oh wait, can I do channel divinity? Uh, channel divinity? Yeah. No. Fuck. You can uh, cast compelled duel and staring strike or shield of faith. Okay. 
Um. Okay, I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith on myself. Actually. Yeah, Shield of Faith on myself. Hello? Uh... Hello. It's just a buff. Mm -hmm. There's no. I I there's a component to it. There is. Oh, oh, there is. Small parchment with a bit of holy text written. Okay, well, and if that's the case, I am a willing. I am willing for there to be a tiny bit of holy text engraved in your reliquary, but that is the most. Keep does in that mind mean it gets that used? it does not get used. It's more of your reliquary is just kind of like a holy symbol. It's like having a cross and having some text inscribed on the cross. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm okay. fine with that. Just keep in mind it, it, if someone else in your face sees it, they may go like, "Hmm, the fuck." <laughs> well, I'm not of like, faith. I'm like I'm my, I'm my own. I know, but I'm, I'm more, I'm more of just. Person. Yeah, I cast Shield of Faith on myself, so I'm now 23 armor class. Okay. Tank boy. Uh, Ethan, roll a death save. Uh, roll, just roll a nat 20. Wait, roll a nat 20? Roll a nat 20, roll a nat 20, it'll be fun. We're saying just roll a d20. Why am I being dumb? Where the fuck is the... Bottom left. Bottom left. Eat. An eight. That is plus one on your failures. Gee. Uh, well, what would you like to do? Um, I got straight to it. Okay, here's my plan. Oh, wait a minute. It, it takes a turn to cast darkness, correct? Or, yeah, no. I think, I believe it takes an action. Okay. I'm gonna cast a darkness, walk up, and then cast, uh, for my bonus action, uh, Hexblade's Curse. And you wanted to walk up towards it? Yes. Okay, so as you walk up towards it, you cast directly on him. So, just so everyone knows, that is in this. There is a circle in a 15-foot radius around him, I believe. 15, yes. Uh, so uh, there's... By the way, what I casted it, uh, darkness on was my armor. Or my, my clothes or whatever I'm wearing. So the uh, darkness orb would be 15 feet around me. It's not a... Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm not capping. I thought I was capping for a sec. I'm sorry, I'm more of just figuring this out. No, you're good. It would be 15 f feet from me. And I'll add to that to make sure. Yeah. I can go down a little more. Okay, there's your smoke cloud. Cool. There's no hiding everything in it. Uh, do you remember where you were? Yeah. And something, something I'll do just 
the clarification is I will So that's your smoke cloud. Yeah, and remember, I put, uh, as a bonus action, I placed yeah. Exploit's Curse on Exploit's Curse. Okay. Um, so now it is his turn. Uh, good roll. Okay. So it tries, being blinded, it tries to swing at Joseph twice, missing both times in its turn. Uh, go. Joseph. Yeah. Let's fucking go, boy. Can you re-roll a wisdom? You had your turn, right? Can you re-roll a wisdom save for me? Yes, I can. I meant to ask you that before, but I forgot. Oh, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> okay. We have the same, uh, oh, the same roll! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, I got a 10 last time. Uh, uh, <laughs> last save so, mess, so Luke, what would you like to do? Keep in mind, anything you do inside the smokescreen, pretty much gonna have, you're going to have disadvantage. There's nothing I really can do. Like I want to throw just, my just magic, throw magic missiles. missiles. But they're at a disadvantage. Uh, magic missiles hit regardless. Oh, okay. There's the reason why I cool. said throw magic missiles, Luke. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll just do magic missiles then. All right. Actually, never mind. Never mind, never mind. Okay. Magic missiles don't work. Wait. Uh, okay. It needs to be a creature of your choice that you can see within range. You can! Imagine if I just did burning hands. Imagine if I did burning hands. You the can thing. do anything I could, at disadvantage. I could hit my entire team, dude. I would hit my entire team. <laughs> Is that what would happen? Where do you fight burning uh, hands? Uh, pretty much. If you just sprayed it in there. <laughs> Is that a bad idea? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, could I use? Wait, I'm trying to make sure or double check. Is Will the one who put up the show cloud? Correct. Yes. Okay, because I was about to say I'll, I can use Gust to get rid of it, but <laughs> I would <laughs> recommend you do not. I, I think Will wants to keep it. So <laughs> there is a entirely reason. There is a fuck it, there, Yes, there is a reason why I did that. Okay. Okay. How about this? Can I create a minor illusion behind where I last saw him uh, of of a sound to draw him away from you guys? So, do you just want to do a minor sound? Yeah, just something behind him to me, or like footsteps behind him, so that instead of trying to attack Asriel and all of them, he'll be focused on what's behind him, because he, he doesn't have vision. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you cast a sound behind him, which just kind of pop up. Not what I wanted. Pops up behind him, making him think there's now another person behind him. Uh, so now it is Joseph's turn. Would you like to struggle in fear? Would you like to struggle in fear? Yes. Uh, go ahead and roll a wisdom saving. This is what I was supposed to have you do before. Oh, cool. Okay. About damn time. <laughs> you broke free. Congratulations. Your turn's still over, but you did oh. break free. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs you again. <laughs> he grabs you the shoulder, says, uh, Look, I have a contract. I, have <laughs> I mean, he'd be uh, a disadvantage. Ethan. Saving for that 20. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so Ethan well, is, is Ethan almost die? dead. Is oh, Ethan gonna die? Uh, if no one, if no one heals him and he gets into another turn and fails, he is dead. I'm gonna heal him next turn. I don't even have a heal. <laughs> I do. Oh uh, well. What would you like to do? 
Uh, okay. <clears throat> this is this is where 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 the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. I will pull out. You pull out from Did from you not? from. <laughs> oh, I like it. Gary, I'm gonna fucking. Anyway, I would like to pull out my packed weapon and strike him with Dude. a two hand. Uh, my long sword. That the pack weapon makes it is like you create a weapon. Is it? Yes. Oh. That's that's my level three. That's basically will form or will form a blade of one's. I don't know if one's own desire is the right word because it's not that, but yeah. It's not a hex. It's not a hex weapon. It's. I know, I'm more of just trying to figure it says you choose the form, you're proficient with it, and it counts as magical. I'm not sure if you need to be proficient with it or if it's just saying you're proficient with it. Uh fuck. I uh, I was told this and then I forgot. I know longsword works though. I know for a fact longsword works. I think If a longsword works, then it would just, it would have to be then you're just proficient with it. Okay. Uh, oh, that is a little cool. Will, when will Microsoft Edge finally let the Microsoft come? No. <laughs> I, I, I actually, that is a good joke. I kind of liked it. It is a good joke. But it's a good joke, no, but, no, and no. I kind of liked it. I, I got it. I, that was a good joke. <laughs> I kind of liked the joke. <laughs> anyway, I would like to strike it two-handed. Uh. Okay. Is that Birdie's confusion intensifies? I'm trying to figure out what damage that is, or what and what hit that is. Huh? You're using a longsword, right? Yes, I I have I have. I, that's why I asked earlier if I could react, if I could add it, because I didn't earlier. Is it just not updated? Oh yeah. It is not. I will update it. Okay. Go ahead and roll the hit. What? Okay, yeah. yeah. And it's not a hex weapon, right? It's just a pact? Uh, pact weapons auto go uh, automatically go hex. Oh, are they auto hex? Okay. Yes. So just hex the weapon. Yeah, I did. I did. Or I fixed that because it auto. I and pact, and pact and hex the weapon. Yes. 14 is my uh, PC. <laughs> That hits. So go ahead and roll your. Uh, nine. Nine. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Sorry, I'm really scared about fucking TPK. <laughs> TPK. None of you besides Will know what that means. Then good. Uh, <laughs> what would you say? What would you say? Okay. Nothing. Nothing. TPK. Um, Nothing. Player kill. Right. Okay. Uh. <laughs> no. You should not respond. <laughs> Uh, okay. Why are you scared of a TPK? Why are you scared of a TPK? <laughs> okay, Joseph, you're fine. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Okay. So Joseph, he again, he again tries to swing at you twice and misses both times. Okay, okay. It is now uh, Luke's turn. I don't know what to do. Do I just sit under the tree and just wait for my fellow brethren to come out? <laughs> Um, if I go you can enter and just start throwing fists. <laughs> if I enter, you like, you it, 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 wait, no, no, technically it's speaking, he should be able all to of your cast hits. Magic... You can throw fireball. It's just gonna be at disadvantage. Yeah, no, technically, couldn't he cast magic missile at disadvantage? No, no, no. Magic you can't. missile you isn't a roll. Fuck right, vision. it isn't. You need okay. to have vision. So you can cast fireball at a disadvantage if you want. Hmm. 
That's your. Call. I mean, what what I'm thinking right now is get like taking Ethan out of combat because I don't want him to die. That's not gonna change anything if I fail my fucking uh check. Wait, are you next? Are you up next? No. No, it's just who's up next. Okay, cause isn't Joseph gonna heal him? Joseph does has healing abilities. Yes, yes I do. Okay, I, then I'll just. Can I just throw a fireball in there right now, or do I need to go inside? Uh, so you can just throw it outside. And it has disadvantage. Yeah. Whatever just sounds throw, good to me. Disadvantage to hit. Throw two nat twenties. Five nat. That's just not hit. Uh, you don't have any bonus actions, I presume. Uh, I Joseph, what would you like to do? And I think I already know the answer. I'm gonna cast fucking uh, compel do <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to chance, Joseph. One e chance. <laughs> no, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna lay on hands pool. I'm gonna give Ethan five health. Uh, and you you do that so, like on your own. I'm not gonna yeah. edit your thing. Right. Just Ethan, you five. get kills five HP. Yeah. Yippee. Okay, question: yeah, If Ethan if Ethan dies again, does that mean he only has one saving throw? No. Uh, no, I believe. Or does it reset? It reset. It resets. It resets. It resets. Wasn't sure. Using, if using a spell is a action, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Unless it says it's a bonus. Or a reaction. The Joseph's is a just straight action. Joseph, do you want to have any battle, uh, bonus actions you'd like to do? Oh, I can cast a spell, can I? Although there will uh, be a disadvantage. You can, cast a, you can cast one of your spells, but you do have Shield of Faith on yourself. Oh. And it's concentration, so... You get rid of Shield of Faith. All right, I'll, I'll just keep that on me then. Okay. Actually, nah, never mind. Is there a way? No. Nah. Is there a way I can yeah. move Shield of Faith onto someone else without wasting a spell slot? No. Okay. Uh, Ethan, it's your turn. What would you like to do? I'm gonna use Cure Wounds Level One on myself. Okay. Go ahead and roll your HP regain. You heal. Set. So, next week, go ahead and heal yourself. Okay. So pretty. Actually, never mind. We started later. I was going to say this is a long session, but I can tell you the time on the session. It's exactly three hours and seven minutes. Well, what would you like to do? Uh, I will. I can't do any of that. Ha! Said his name. I'll just I'll I'll just attack it again with a long sword, dual handed. Uh, sounds good. Nine, Nine does not hit. Yeah. Fuck yeah boys. Uh, Wait, would I get advantage or no? No, you're just not at disadvantage. Okay. Uh. Again, swinging towards Joseph. I'm being, I'm being attacked. Is that right here? Yeah. <laughs> he swings at you again, and again misses both times. Dude, this is it a guaranteed start? miss? No, it's because he's at no, disadvantage. Just rolling at disadvantage. This this wraith is just swinging wildly. Listen, Joseph, I should have done this earlier. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, are we doing any damage to it or no? Or I guess you are. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you roll lucky. After his punch, I will say, and this is due to my due to my error, but I have now regained. I'm learning. I I, I learned from my mistake, so I apologize to everyone about this. After his failed attack, the darkness cloud. Starts swiveling up and disappearing. Oh boy! 
Uh, oh. Darkness oh. is a concentration spell. You casted it, and then you cast no, 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 no. Expedition Wait, Decree. it's not... Wait, what? You casted two concentration spells, no, switching lose, your concentration. I would lose exp Wait, no, that, wait, that's not... Did you cast Expeditious and then Darkness? Yeah. Did you? Yes. Remember? Let me double check this. My first spell was Expeditious. I'm smelling cap. Luke, you, you don't even fucking pay attention. Okay, that's fine, that's <laughs> fine. We'll say that then. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, no, Expeditious. So I, I, I just wasn't sure. Yeah, because I didn't... Remember, I Darkness... Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, then, I didn't mess up. Nice. Uh... Because remember, so now, uh, I, yeah. I, I did a uh, okay. Eldritch and then Expeditious, and then the next turn I did Darkness and... No, okay, so that was just an utterly terrible Expeditious. Gotcha. Uh... Lou, uh... Wraith, what would you like to do? Probably the same shit. There's nothing I can really do differently. <laughs> so that would mean I fireball. Oh wait, roll a disadvantage. Doesn't double that ones. Oh boy. <laughs> That is the first. That is the first. Okay, so I can assure you that that does not hit. <laughs> Joseph, what would you like to do? Oh. Joseph, did you see my hit? Did you see my hit? Wait, so the cloud's still up, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, the cloud is still up. It's just that Will can't dash. I got. Con okay. I tried to remember the expeditions. I was like, wait a second. Right, For whatever wanna... reason, I thought expeditions okay. was the only thing. I want to investigate like the chair. <laughs> What do you want to do, Joseph? I want to investigate the chair. want to investigate the chair. <laughs> Classic. Kill Please, Joseph, kill it. Can I... I look, I, I'm not fine. I'll roll attack, but if it misses, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Please. <laughs> Rolling disadvantage. I'm only doing this to keep you guys alive. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me just not hit. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> this is a... Very bad duel. <laughs> you guys just keep missing. Really, you're making this fight go on longer than it needs to be. <laughs> uh, Ethan, what would you like to do? I would like to stab it. Stab, stab, stab. Stab it with my dagger, both of my daggers, actually. Why does it? Why does it? I reloaded your page and it said you're still dead. What the hell? <laughs> what HP are you at? Twelve. Weird. Okay. Uh, so what you wanted to stab it? Yep, stab it. Both my daggers. Okay, so roll. Uh, hit for your first dagger at disadvantage. Oh. So we just roll again, and we'll take the lower. Uh, disadvantage. Okay. First one does not hit. Roll the second weapon. 15. Roll it again. Roll it again. Oh, never mind, never mind. You did disadvantage. Okay, you're smart. Uh, that does indeed hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, fuck. Four. Four. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, Wait, yeah. I have a cool... Hmm. What's your question? Let's say... Nornik... Wrap the monster with... His dancing lights. The monster wouldn't be able to see it because of the darkness yet. Yes, but would we or would they be able to? Because it is magical. I'm gonna say magical darkness, magical light cancel each other out. Okay. See, it could be a tiny field of clarity, but like, it's not gonna do you that much because unless it's right in front of you, and you're only gonna see. It, you could see a ball size in front of you. So literally, like, two inches. It's not gonna help you that much. Okay. Uh... So... Will, what would you like to do? What's your turn? Uh... Is our music stop? Yes. I will like... Replay the music. 
Honestly, fuck it. I, I'll, I'll Eldritch. Just because more damage. I'll do Eldritch. We're back to the Eldritch. 15. Also, Will, I'm gonna take off your dagger just because you got one too many weapons. Oh, yeah, I missed. I was supposed to do that. You can use it, so it's fine. Uh, so. 15. Roll damage. 7. Lovely, lovely. Do you have any bonus actions you'd like to do, or do you know if that's affected by Hexblade's curse? Uh, let me double check if it's affected by Hexblades. Um... It is, but I didn't roll a 19. No, you just gain plus 2 bonus to damage rolls. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I would. Right, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and you've had it for three? Three, two turns? Two turns. That would be the second turn. I, yeah, that'd be the second. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So you've had it on for two. You've used your longsword for two turns. Oh, wait, then that would be my third turn. Sorry. I'll retroactively add the four damage. Because I didn't calculate that before. Uh, Luke, what would you like to do? Actually, wait, no, not Luke. Sorry. Monster. Monster, what would you like to do? Okay. The monster swings at Joseph twice and misses again twice. <laughs> Let's fucking go! This darkness cloud yeah. has been very effective. Yeah, on both parties, though. <laughs> I mean, if I can whittle it down... Well, consistent damage. Yeah. I can whittle now, it down... I will say Will does not know what a Revenant is properly. Luke, what would you like to do? I don't know. Um, I kind of just want to say same thing, but knowing my look, I'm just going to get two ones, so... Uh, I mean, uh, brute force it. You can brute force it. No, nothing bad about it, oh, unless you, you want to do something it. creative. I'm going to charge in there and whack him with my scimitar. Do you want to charge into the fray? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, I, that, that don't mean I'll also get the plus D6 if I hit, right? The sneak attack? I mean, he won't be able to see two ones on it. <laughs> okay, so you run in there. You get you want to get, get close, and you want to use your skimitar. Yeah. Little disadvantage. Actually, let me see. Oh, <gasps> tapping boys! Oh, it's tapping. You actually hit something. <laughs> Watch it be like no hit. Okay, cool. You hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Do I get the plus six too, or no? Or the one d six? Since it, I'm not um, sure. If it's sneak attack. Because I'm charging into the smoke. No, you attack. don't. Because you rolled at disadvantage. Ah, oh, damn. All right. I don't. I don't like the sentence. I you don't know what a revenant revenant is. Because I. All right. I did three damage. Is that enough to kill? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I'm just saying you're missing a very key feature, Will. What am I missing? I know it comes back to life after 24... Is that it? Wait. Huh? Oh, wait. <laughs> no. Just don't look into uh, it. No, I'm not looking into it. I'm trying to remember. There's something about sure. it. I forget what it is. Phasmophobia. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, oh. you here? Yeah. Wait. You Wait, actually, you I won't that. say it loud. <laughs> you can message me if you want to confirm it, but I'll only let you confirm two to three things. I can confirm. Fuck! That's what I was forgetting. <laughs> um. So feel free to announce it if you like. Yeah. You remember it on your own. Uh, it regens. I don't know how much. I just know it regens. Ooh. But from how Brody's wording it, I so did can't the so did the three damage prevent the regen? 
That's the question. <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, 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 this thing regen health? It regens unturned. It regens unturned. Um, um. She. Um, How much health does it regen? We don't know. I can't disclose that. Wait, we can stop it, right? Cause I, uh, you can stop it. I, I cannot tell you how, though. You have stopped it this fight before, though. Um, it was me. <laughs> no, okay, the two... Ethan. No, 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 wait, what did Ethan do? The two yeah, things that, that it could be is... Wait, Luke, did you do Fireball or no? I did, but I'm, I got, I am completely miss? missed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> then, I'm guessing it was Joseph with his, uh... Find smite. Would Divine Smite really do that? Uh, I don't. Let me look at. I think so. Is it Radiant? Oh. Okay. So, yeah. Joseph, it's your turn. Oh, cheating. Mm. What? Okay. Are you cheating, Will? So, no, it's I will use Channel, di Channel Divinity Turn the Faithless. As an action, you present your holy symbol and each Fae or Fiend. Oh, wait. Is this thing a Fae or a Fiend? No. Uh, no. It's not? Fuck. Wait, where do I see Joseph's... Um... I know. It's not a Fae or a Fiend? Where's your Divine Smite? I don't think we know. Well, I... Or can confirm. Can you? Yeah, it's it radiant is... damage, so the thing that stopped it was Divine Smite. A re it's a Revenant. You, you can try to make your own guesses. Uh, is that a fiend? Do you know what a fae and a fiend are? No, not exactly. No. Think of fiend, think of shadow fiend. It is like a literal demon. Fae is like kind of like Dark Willow, where it's like a fucking spirit. Okay, so but it's like not, a no, nature no. spirit. So this is like this is like a zombie, like a like a like Pudge. So it's neither of those. Uh, yeah. I, I guess that's a good way to put it. Okay. Well, um. Listen, if I were you, I'd try to just divine smite. That's what I'm true. That's what I've been trying to do. So we're all disadvantage again. Well, that's when you roll a fucking nothing. Nine, eight, eleven. It doesn't hit. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Honestly, gaining the health back. <laughs> Let's fuck this. All my damage has been. Yeah, I only did this because I was scared of someone getting one shot again. I could back off. Here's the thing. Technically, or not technically, it just says that uh, non magical light can't illuminate it, but if a magical light can illuminate it, but it's not a super far distance, technically speaking, Brody could someone put a magical light on him someone could put a magical light on him but if you were to be able to see him he would be able to see you think of it like light goes both ways so if i were to use my scimitar for light, okay it, well it think of the non-magical dark as walking through a yeah. wall almost yeah, yeah. your eyes are constantly have, having something in front of them if you open it so you can see, that opening is something someone else can see as well. Yeah. Okay, then I won't do that. Uh, shit. Can Luke turn on and off his light sword or no? My scimitar. Your scimitar. Yeah, he can. Okay, technically speaking... I love the word technically speaking. Technically it gets me excited. Speaking. Luke could make himself a target for this guy, yes. Could he whoa, do much other than that? Whoa, whoa. Depends. Who <laughs> said I'll make a new target? Do, do you want to try fireballs again? Or did you, do you not have spell slots? Or is it a spell slot? Fireballs a cantrip. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I, I have enough for it. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Uh, it's Ethan's talk. turn, by the way. Yeah, I'm just kind of thinking out loud. Ethan, what would you like to do? Mm -hmm. Fuck. 
I'd like to slap it with my scimitar and shank it with a dagger. Go ahead and roll. Hit for each. Scimitar. Ooh. Five. Miss. Dagger is a... Eight. Miss. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it's your turn. What would you like to... <laughs> Christ, man. Okay, 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 um... Okay, I'm gonna do an Eldritch Blast. Luke, can't you do a, uh, Fireball and just hope to God? <laughs> and just hope to God? Yeah. I don't know if it's. Yeah. I, uh, just my assumption is. Okay, so Will, go ahead and roll your hit. Joseph, turn that down. I don't know if Radiant's the only. Yeah, okay, sorry. I'm thinking out loud. 23. A damage of 12. Is it is it my turn? Oh uh, wait, sorry, I'm doing something. Okay, so you rolled twenty-three, twelve. That doesn't work. Uh, do you have any bonus actions you want to do, or no? Uh, no. Uh, does my... what's it called? Cast? The oh, yeah. yeah. Critical from my, uh... Explode? It's a 19 or 18. Not 19 or 18, 19, 20. Oh, fuck, right. I forgot it's not the, But uh, you do get a bonus 2 damage. And curse. Bonus 2 damage, 14 damage. Let's go... Can I ask, how close are we to killing this thing? Uh, I can't entirely say. What's the What's it look like to us? Or, I mean, we won't really see it, but like... Well, you can see... It's pretty, it's pretty raggedy. It's not... Yeah. It's still standing on its two feet, but... You see a lot of cuts and scratches all over its body. Let's go. At least we're making progress. Slow progress, but progress. Um, let me just check something. <coughs> X-Blade's been active for four turns or five turns, Will? Because last was okay. three, so this would be four. Wow, math. Joseph, does a 22 hit? You're muted, Joseph. No, not right now, it does not. Okay, it swings twice at Joseph, almost punching him, but missing both times again. Quick, uh, quick question. Luke. Remember the thing that hmm. uh, uh, Norna casted? Is that still active? The, the... No, because I'm blind. You cannot see Okay, me. That is indeed true. Boys, boys, boys. Yeah, yeah, but I mean... This thing... It's, this so, thing it's active may... for a minute. Oh, Wait, is the smoke cloud still up? Is the smoke cloud still up? The smoke cloud's up for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm terrified to pull it down. Because I do not want to TP. Uh, t What's I guess I'll just use my skim turn again. Dude, Actually, you know what? I will, what I will risk is. it. Could I? Whose turn is it next? Uh, Joseph's. Okay, you know what? I am just going to risk it, and for my turn, I'm going to basically light up the area with my skimitar and hit him. 
Okay. Giving giving my teammates a chance to get off full so damage off. You, you're going to turn it on for the swing. Turn. Yes. Well, no, no, no. Can you I turn can. on for the swing, keep it on for their turns, and yes, then... Yes, you can. You can. Okay. That's what Just I'm going to Turn it off before... You can't... No, you, it has to be a, a bonus action at the end of his turn. He turns it off, or... Yeah. So I, I have to wait not. again for my turn to turn it off. No, I, I'm just going on the hopes that you guys can nuke him. I'm just going to yeah. go on that hope. Uh, I'm a, uh, Luke, if you want to know how I'm treating the turn on, turn off, you get a free turn on, turn off if you use it to attack, and you can use a bonus action to also affect it. Okay, so the whole thing is I could turn it off on my turn, but the whole thing is I, I, I want Joseph to get a hit off. If Joseph gets a hit off, we might just kill it. So I'm 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 gonna trust in Joseph. I'm gonna trust in Joseph. Okay, I'm gonna leave it on the whole time. So for their turns, it'll be on. This thing I'm cannot gonna... kill anyone right now. By the way, this thing cannot kill anyone. And if it knocks someone out, I can revive them next turn. Exactly. That, that that's why I'm going off that. I'm well, going off that assumption. Joseph. Okay. I'm going off that assumption. So, so I'm going to... go ahead. You roll hit, and you're turning on your blade. Do not roll disadvantage. Sixteen. 16 hits, go ahead and roll damage. Eight. Uh, do you have any bonus actions? I don't believe you do. My bonus action would be Actually, to turn it off. Unless I get that extra sneak attack, but I don't think I get a sneak attack, so. You do get a sneak attack. Pog. Because you don't have disadvantage anymore. Alright, well then it's 10 damage. We all know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, it, I, I am, go ahead. I'm, I'm relying. Oh my god, 22. It's a yes. nice game. Go ahead okay, and roll okay. Joseph. That's, this damage, is, this is the bludgeoning damage. If thing. it does not kill... If it does not kill, go ahead, go ahead and roll all your fucking, like, uh, your 3d8s or whatever the fuck it is. I will cry if it's not. Okay. Killed. Yeah. So, so, so I'm using a spell slot. So I'm out of spell slots, and then three because it's a undead. How many spells are there? Oh, seven. <laughs> 20 fucking, okay. 20 fucking, uh, 25. 25. 25 plus the 10, it should be 35 damage. If no. this guy is not dead, no. wait, 10. uh, because I did 10 25. damage. What? He's just adding Luke. Luke did added. 10, you did 25, 35 in total. Uh, Ethan, it's your turn. What would you like to do? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> um,. That's two eight damages on the flail, dude. That's mm. cracked. I guess I'll just try to hit it again with my scimitar and dagger. Go ahead. You're not at disadvantage this turn. Okay. Scimitar. You've got to be fucking me. <laughs> Go ahead. And then dagger. <sighs> got the the nap. Okay, 14. Uh, dagger, dagger hits. Dagger hits. Go ahead and roll, roll damage. Uh, okay, I did. Okay. Oh, For a second, I saw the one, and I was like, wait a minute. Uh, Will, go ahead. Do your turn. I don't... Dude, um, I'm scared because now he has a free attack. Yeah, no, I'm terrified. I really thought Joseph well, so would just no kill blind, him. Right? No one's blind, right? No one's blind. No one's blind. You, fuck. Then my uh, reaction's back in place. Um... <laughs> Fuck Eldritch, just YOLO. Fifteen. Uh, that doesn't do hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Ten. What's the? Or unless my thing off. What's the? Uh, damage? I don't think it has yet. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. 
is um okay okay so joseph does a 16 hit no it does not uh, 16 oh uh, excuse me does a 26 hit <laughs> Please don't it's a nat 20. <laughs> it's because, not. Because, because a 16, or 26, does it. Okay, okay. Give me a second. Not fiddle with the numbers. Oh my god, dude, What <laughs> the fuck is this fucking thing? I don't think we were supposed to fight. Dude, this thing better give us like 500 XP. I'm at, I'm at 20. Oh, I know for a fact it gives you a lot of XP. I don't know the exact number, I just know it gives you a lot. <laughs> at least I remember so because of, uh, uh I watch too much DVD. <laughs> uh, 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 okay, oh so God. its first attack does miss. Its second attack, because it has sworn vengeance upon you, Due to you absolutely clobbering its skull and being the first person within its sight line, um, you take twenty-eight damage. Oh my god! What? What do you mean? Why did I take it down? What are we gonna do? Just slowly DPS it down. It was ten minutes. Dude, you told me he healed. He's gonna yeah, heal but... DPS me too. Okay. I know, and I said try using fireball. I don't know fireball. T I know two okay. things. I know for so a just, fact. So just take twenty-eight damage, and next turn you'll do your death save. Holy shit! <laughs> Wait, twenty-eight <laughs> fucking damage. Joseph got bonked, right? Okay. Joseph literally would have got one shot at any HP pool. Oh. <laughs> uh, so Ethan, it's your turn. What would you like to do? I'd like to. I'd like to heal. <laughs> okay. okay. What would you like to use? I'm gonna use my cure wounds level two, and then after that, I'm gonna shank him with a dagger. Uh. Wait, are both of your heal spells by any chance? Joseph, you, uh, you, you, you can't do a bonus action with two open fighting unless you use a weapon on the first action. Oh, that makes sense. You, you have a you can do bardic. True. I'm gonna bardic inspiration. So, will Joseph heal? I'm at nine. nine. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, okay, you're at oh nine my HP. Fucking god, Ethan or Brody, what is this nigga, bro? <laughs> Why did you- uh, YOU RECORD! Will is now understanding why I said what I said. I'm so fucking- Why I'm scared of a TPK. Oh, Will, I rolled you a 6 for part okay, of the so Mighty chance, can you kill someone without having death saves? Like, can yes. you just get rid of death yes. saves? Oh. If- damn it, okay, if an enemy attacks you while you're down, which I haven't done yet because I'm not cruel, it's an immediate two death saves, or two death fails added on your thing. Oh. And if an attack does your remaining HP plus your max HP pool, it'll just straight up kill you. <laughs> so, uh, Luke, Luke is real. So essentially, Joseph, since you were at 19, it would have to do 28 plus 19 damage. Oh. If you were at 1 HP and it rolled a 29, you would have died. And the whole thing is that's scaring me because I have 12 HP max, so he probably would have just killed me straight up there. Uh, no, yeah, he would have. Even if Luke was at max HP, Luke would have just died if he took that hit. <laughs> <laughs> like, no saves, no nothing. Luke would be dead. Okay, uh, Will, it's your turn. I'll be like... Jesus, man. I'll just, uh, I'll just blast over here. <laughs> uh, okay. Sh do your hit. Doesn't hit. What's gonna cry? He's so depressed. He's so depressed. It, it doesn't hit. Joseph, uh. Okay, never mind. It doesn't fucking matter. I realized I skipped over your turn that you were dead and you got healed, so it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, so. Well, 
Wait, no, Ethan. Ethan no. hit me, right? Yeah, he punched you. you. You died. Whether you save, you did a successful save or fail, doesn't matter because Ethan healed you next turn. I know, but aren't I after Ethan? No, oh, Ethan rolled yeah. at twenty. No, Ethan oh, is yeah, it, yeah. Joseph. You're Ethan's one. First, Ethan's first. Ethan's first. Yeah. So your turn went. Uh, then it was Ethan's. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, and I caught you, and then okay, so that does not hit. Uh, this guy. Ill will okay. Can we turn turn off the sword, please? Uh, I'm gonna be fair. If we turn off the sword, I think we're just gonna lose. No, I think we no, have to just send no, it. No. Will, Will, why, why? Will, give me a reason. You, give me a reason. No, 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 no. Give me a fucking reason. Will, you said he heals. Yes, Our but it Daniel doesn't heal like 500. Enough. No, Luke, Luke. When we first checked him, remember when we first checked him, he was at mild damage. He is now battered when we last checked him so we are obviously doing would you like to check him now yes he is severely injured i don't think oh my god we're gonna... I... we could just send it just no i think he's severely i, I say we send I... It. but you still look we luke, have luke, two heals. luke will, you will no you were... no no i saved them for fucking four rounds in a row, and then you're like, let's go, I have an idea, let's turn on the lights, waste my fucking Okay, you know what, Joseph, Ethan, do you want to send it, or do you want to just keep, like, wildering him down? Whittling. Whittling. Okay, fine. Uh, okay. He swings twice at Joseph, misses both times. That, without the smoke cloud? Without the smoke cloud, he misses both times. But keep in mind, your shield of fate is no longer up. Yeah, because he hit me. Wait, so what do you roll, then? I'm not gonna tell you that. <laughs> it's against well, rules. Because it's, if it's 21 uh, or above, then he hit me. Uh, he rolled a 20 and a 18. Fuck. Uh, Luke, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Okay, well, then I guess I'll turn off the sword. Even though I'll probably do you want to do an attack heal. for that? Or yeah, do you I, wanna... I would say, okay. Well, uh, can I plan. attack, turn it off? Yes. You can as a bonus action. Okay. Remember. Yeah, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I'll just do that then. Look, my, my advice is when it becomes your turn, turn it on, attack, turn it off. Just do it like that. Because as long as All right, I'm going to attack, turn it off. Okay. So, so attack. A... Oh, it's a nice. And keep in mind. All right, yeah, I'll turn, turn it off at the end of the attack. All right, uh... I turned it off. Okay. Uh, Joseph, it's your turn. What would you like to do? You want to go for a... I am out of slots, full slots. Out of... <laughs> or... um... I mean, you gotta remember, you also you have a disadvantage now, so do you really want to use spell slots on a disadvantage? Well, it wouldn't matter. It would, it only hit. It'd be it only if I had it. It would be if I hit. Yeah. Alright, I'm rolling disadvantage on uh, my mace. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, 20 minutes. <laughs> um. <laughs> that is the sound of a broken man. <laughs> can, he, can, he, can he do 28 plus 9 damage? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he can. <laughs> I want okay, Joseph. Can I remind you of something? What? When he did twenty-eight damage, he missed his first attack. I know he did, Brody. <laughs> <laughs> I know he did. Um. Okay. <laughs> he did it myself. <laughs> he did it. Your turn. I just swing my skinny car and try to shake him. Wait, I'm not rolling with disadvantage, am I? Uh, you are now. <laughs> you want to see the meme? This reminds me. <laughs> Eight. So miss. I'm telling you, dude, the disadvantage. Ten. Uh, miss. uh, those are indeed both misses. <laughs> uh, Will, it's your turn. Keep in mind, you have bardic inspiration on you for six. Yeah. Will I'm, Will, I'm gonna put Will, I'm gonna put this uh this picture in D and D shit. Just take a picture of what, what I feel right now. Um, 
I, I see why people are alcoholics. Anyway, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. Ooh. <laughs> Where did you see 12. it? 12. Doesn't hit. Uh, I saw it, yeah. Um, oh, dude, what are the odds that he hits? What are the odds that he hits? Pretty though? high, actually. His DC is so fat. <laughs> Wait, by any chance, does the smoke thing do deal any damage to him or no? Okay. He swings at Joseph twice again and misses both times. Oh my god, bro, you're my saving <laughs> I know! Uh, I no, told no. you! I told you! <laughs> uh, Luke, what would you like to do? I really do want to turn on my sword. Yeah, just turn it on We're and not... then turn it off. No, I know, but the whole thing is... According to that. Brody, if this thing is severely damaged, I really think we should send it. Well, uh, Luke, Luke, uh, use your sword and then turn it off as your bonus action. <sighs> okay. That is or, the main thing. Or, that is or, the or can do. the separate action. I know I can do it. Luke, the separate action. I know action. I can do it. No, no, no. Here's the separate action you could do, okay? Hear me out, okay? We fuck You fucking YOLO see if, and see if, if fire actually is a weakness. I don't know. Use fire against the guy. Have Did I? we? I hit no, him with fire I thought you said you missed. No, in the very beginning of the game, I hit him with Fireball, and it did nothing. It was just it was just the damage. Yeah, and then I, I did mean, it again, and then I got okay. a miss. <laughs> okay. Have I, have I stated any weaknesses this game? No. Don't assume the things you've already done are well, yeah, bad, and don't assume the things you've already done are good. Yeah. I, okay. Honestly, I know if I do burning hands, is that gonna hit everyone? Uh, yes, it, it hit everyone besides Will. Ah, damn it! I want I want to do it because I want to see if um if he has like a dex or if his. Do you guys trust trust in the dex? How high is? Because <laughs> there's a chance this guy might have a really low dexterity since he's like undead. You could also just kill your team. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing. Cause it's a half damage. Three d six. Let me let me do. <laughs> you would okay. You wouldn't kill your team if they succeeded on their dex throw, but you'd put them in death range. Wait, what? I know. The whole thing is, I'm assuming I'm that this guy that doesn't have a good dexterity. Them. I'm assuming this guy doesn't have good dexterity. Yes. Uh, I, I, uh, I, 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 <laughs> you just, you, what's your theory for that? That's that's what you need to think. Yeah. Argue your theory, not what you think. Well, like, let's talk this out here. We have we have time. I rather figure out what's our best course of action. What what what's your theory here? For me. Why do you think he's weak to... No, why do you think he's a low dex? That's what it is. Sorry, my mom's talking to me. Um, well, because the whole thing is, I feel like as a zombie, he doesn't really have, like, the... I'm assuming that what the he's character not quite, is... He's not uh, quite the same as the zombie. Okay, maybe not a zombie, but I'm assuming based on, like, a character's, like, description, I guess, it you can determine their stats. I don't know if that's entirely true, but I feel like they don't have good protection, I guess. Or what? Safe. Okay, think of it. This is my biggest hint I can give you. What is the Revenant specific stat in Phasmophobia? Dude, isn't the Revenant fast? Isn't that what it was? The farther away from it you are, the faster it is. Yeah. Um... I don't wait, know how that wait, works here. Wait, wait, what's... Hold up, let me let me look here. Oh, a spell. Am I in range for a magic missile? Am I in range for a magic missile? Like, can I see him? Uh, your scimitar is off. So I can't see him. Damn. You, cannot. you know, also, I'll just I'm also, just I'm just gonna do a scimitar. Okay, I don't want to hit you guys quick. with my fire. Or you could try, or you could try a firebolt. Really quick about a revenant. Hiding from it will cause it to move at a significantly reduced speed. Cool. 
Um. Will? What? If I use my thing, I don't have a disadvantage. If I use my firebolt, I yeah, do. Uh, it's, so I'm it's, just gonna use it's more... my, my scimitar. And then just turn it off. I've used the firebolt before. It is not a weakness. Alright. Skimitar. Here we go. And I'm gonna turn it off when I'm done. Got a 17. Go ahead and roll. Gonna be so I hit that. Do I have to roll the stink attack as well? Uh... Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nine damage, and then I turn off the skin tar as my bonus action. Okay. Uh, Joseph, what would you like to do? <laughs> well, my friend, I think I would like to smack it! Go ahead. 19. Did you uh, roll with disadvantage? I did not. Oh, I didn't. Time, oh, for, time for pain. Oh, fuck, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> roll again. <laughs> <laughs> How? You rolled a nine. <laughs> How? How? All you have to roll is if at, at least a fourteen. All you have to roll is at least a fourteen, right? That's the lowest. Wait, have we gone? Have we checked? Wait, who's gone to thirteen? Has anyone gone to thirteen and hit? I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. I know my fourteen. Right? All you have to do is roll too hard. Oh my god! 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 What, Ethan? I'm just going to slap my skimitar and shank with a dagger. Go ahead. And... <laughs> Listen. Listen, Gary. 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 Was that with uh, disadvantage? Disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> Asriel, I'm going to have a mental breakdown, Asriel. <laughs> Come on. Come no, on. Ethan, don't roll with this. Okay, Ethan, just roll uh, one more hit. Just roll one You just yeah. have to... The 14 counts. Okay. You also did roll 69, keep that in mind. 21. There you go. Your, dis your disadvantage is a 69, I want you to know that. That does indeed hit. Go ahead yeah. and, and roll <laughs> damage to the skin attack. Come on, please, I love you. <laughs> go, okay, and you got one more attack. I can't hear anything, so I'm <laughs> like a fucking panting dog. Jesus Christ, Wait, you're not that much of a furry, are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dagger one. I did roll with disadvantage, whatever. 15. Or 21, technically. And then roll one more time. 22. That hit? Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. That's <laughs> still damage. Damn. 10 damage. Will, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Oh my god. Still alive. I'm telling you, he heals most of it back. I don't think he does. How do you know this, Luke? Because he was severely damaged, we gave him that turn, and we just did 20 damage, and he's still vibing. Yeah, but I think he heals roughly 10 health. Okay, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say for, for whatever fucking reason it has like 200 HP, right? Severely damaged could be 30 HP. If he regens, let's say, 5 to 10, doing 20 damage, it doesn't change that... I know, we did 20 damage because we were lucky. Well, I'm <laughs> just saying. Hey, just well, saying. what would you like to do? Eldritch, 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 Eldritch. I want... Wait, what? Wait, that's not you what... You didn't I'm... do disadvantage. I have no, dark have vision, some... you... Oh. Wait, I have dark no, vision. No, I have special no, dark vision. Yes, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I will roll my damage and add the fucking inspiration or whatever. Okay. Thanks, by the way. Uh, 12 in total. 12 in total. I'm gonna hear... Okay, your turn now. <laughs> uh... Let's see what it does. One, two, nine. Uh... Joseph, <laughs> does a <laughs> does a twenty four hit? Oh fuck off! <laughs> was that with disadvantage? It was, yes. Oh. Fuck these real life die. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yo, oh, yo, he cheating though. He doing cheating. Look, if I'm cheating, it's to keep you alive. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna knock me out again. Well, time to grab your titty. So what's okay. the damage? Uh, so he misses his first punch, and on his oh. second, he deals oh. 21 damage. Oh my god. Wait, does that kill Joseph? No. Well, it does no, not, no. Not Joseph's at 9 HP. I'm close. Oh, Joseph, no, I thought Joseph's Joseph just not been Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, not to... Okay. Uh, and look, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Could I grapple him? What? Uh, like, <laughs> this thing will throw you off. Just, so just hit him. Just hit him. That will make you a target. If you'd like to, I can. Uh, okay. Will it? Will it actually help, though? Just hit him, Luke. That's Please. for the rest of the people. Just Luke, decide. hit him. Just hit him. <laughs> Firebolt? I'm trying to scimitar. improvise here, Will. Improvising is this. not the thing we need to be doing right now. This is not it. We're not... This is not the baby 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 show. This is a, this is a big boy show. <laughs> Why is Will crying? Why is I'm Will losing. Crying? Because I, I hear Brody <laughs> say, I'm scared of a TPK. And everyone's like... I'm gonna start jerking okay. off. Here, you, you know what? I think it's about time we actually say what a TPK is. Well, would you do the honor? Total, total party oh. kill. Total party kill. I. Oh. <laughs> All right, no. Okay. Just continue. Don't worry about it. Yeah, uh huh. Wait, what would you like to do? Fine. I'll just skim it hard then, because Will's gonna cry like a bitch if I don't. Job. Do you want to do your turn off? Turn on, turn look, off. Look, shit? You may be the one to die, but I don't. <laughs> okay, uh, you missed. Uh, Joseph, roll a death save. So just roll a d20. Does Ethan have any more healing Wait, or no? Why yes. Not just hit his deck save. Okay. I got uh, thirteen. You you can't fall to the floor unconscious and then start break dancing to recover yourself. Will. Yeah. But Dex it, doesn't it, do anything. Yeah, but thirteen. You, 13. You, you, I know. You can hit your deck save if it's a d20. I know it's not. Does, is that good? Minus, it's a minus is that two. Bad? Oh. Uh, 13, 16. Uh, above 10 is oh. a success. Okay. Below 10 is a fail. Okay. Nat 1s is 2 fails. Nat 20s are 2 succeeds. That's how they work. Uh, Ethan, it's your turn. What would you like to do? I am going to slash and stab again. Go ahead and do your rolls. Disadvantage, yeah, still. Mm-hmm. Six. So that's nope. it. And... 20. There we go. That does indeed hit. Go ahead and roll your dagger. Bow. Seven. Seven damage. Up. Well, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Will, were you, or not Will, pretty, were you expecting this to be as hard as it is? Yeah. No, I was expecting, I was actually expecting you guys to do a lot worse. <laughs> Let's fucking go. RN, I'm gonna say this RNG has been on your side. <laughs> I mean, so, yes, but also. I, I, will, I will say what I think what the flaws in your guys' strategy was after. Don't say my darkness, because I'll be kind of depressed, because I, I, darkness okay. has saved so many people. Okay. And I, uh, uh, I'm throwing so... Eldritch, throwing Eldritch out again. Best, best damage I got. <laughs> that I 20! Like oh, thank God. Go ahead and roll a crit. Uh, 14. 14. So, 14 damage. Plus Hexblade is 16. With an Eldritch Blast, Will, you hit its body and you hear a thump on the ground. Did it finally happen? Can I... Can you light up the area, Luke? 
<laughs> okay, I turn on my skin. Sorry. <laughs> Is it uh, as Luke investigates, or actually, Luke, do you want to just attack with it, or do you just want to like attack at nothing, or do you want to just light it, light it with an action, or do you just want to like what do you want to do? Is essentially what I'm asking. Action economy, just so I know what else you can do in your turn. Okay. I just say get low and just light up the area. I, attacking nothing seems useless. You, I just want to get like vision yeah, off oh. the ground. So do you just want to light up your sword? Yeah. Uh, you light up your sword and you see the revenant staring at you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The revenant oh. is badly bruised and beaten. It looks like it's on the brink of death, but it okay. is staring at you. Oh shit. You Maybe I should. Joseph, you Joseph what would you like to do? Wait, he still has his bonus, doesn't he? Wait, I, did someone heal me? No, Joseph's dead. Joseph's dead. Yeah, and also Luke. Oh, doesn't yeah. Luke have his bonus? Uh, oh, my bonus would be to turn it off. Oh, yeah. I'm rolling yeah. Birdie, I'm okay, rolling yeah. Okay. I mean, do I. Yeah. Do I. Okay, here's, 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 like, here's the we, option. We could fuck up a kill. We could fuck up a kill. Luke. Here's the two options. And then he'll heal it back. Yeah. Luke. Go ahead and add another success. What? Here's well, the what? two options, okay? You turn it off and hope to god other people finish it. Or, because it's. Uh, Luke already turned it off. Okay, okay. Oh, I ignore did. Me. Oh, okay. Ignore me. Ignore me. You, turn, you turned it off and you're like, wait a second, and then Joseph is already gone. Uh, Ethan, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Stab and slash. Your turn. Okay. You said manage. Oh. Five. No. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your deck. Nineteen. That does it. Go ahead and roll damage. Eight. Eight. Wait, why, why did it fall to the ground? Was it playing dead or was it just that? Is it that? It's just that damaged. Okay. Uh, well, it's your turn. What'd you like to do? That's not fucking dead. Eldritch. <laughs> Go ahead and roll hit. Twenty-three. Eldrim that doesn't need to hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, 13. Oh, the 10. Minus 13. So, finally, with one last Eldritch there. Blast, <laughs> you it. blow off its head, it falls to the floor, and it remains on the floor. It has died. Uh, let's go. Congratulations on probably the hardest fight you guys have done so far. Uh, probably. Can, can I... Pl can you tell me, for love of God, if fire stopped its thing? Uh, okay. We turn down. I will do that after the session. Okay. Do we just want to end the session there? I want to take we, a walk. Yeah. Can, can, can we wait? Can we, get the fuck away! Hard? No, no. First will, off, okay. hmm. we need to get the fuck away because I know that thing will come back in 24 hours. <laughs> Oh, so would you guys like? Would you guys like to I advance? Farm, we need to get the fuck away. I'm gonna heal Let's first. Let's farm it again. Well, let's let me, farm let me it again. Let's farm it again. Let me roll a save first, Steve, because I don't want to waste a heal. Okay, so Joseph, go ahead and roll your save. Perfect. I'm, I'm back. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you are back at I think an HP. How much? How that work? One. One. So, Bertie, I have a quick question. If one of us did die, and then we made a new character to be introduced into the story, would that character be the same level as everyone else? Or would they, like... Uh, it might be a little level? under, but they would be about the same. Okay, so you wouldn't put us in that level. Good to know. Okay, and as an action, I will give myself 10 health. Go ahead. I'd like, uh, to, okay. I, I'd so, like to investigate the corpse. Can we burn its corpse? No, just to make sure. See if it has any loot. Uh, go ahead. Wait, first off, let me uh, allow you guys to award yourself XP. How much? And... That's not Oops. It was, it was a loan, so I kind of want to... Let me, let me see something. So I feel like this is a loan. Hacks? It's more of, this is an enemy you may fa like face with another enemy around. You guys face it alone, so it's kind of like, do I just, do I really do no. full EXP? Yeah. But I guess I, I, I guess I should. Yeah, what? Uh, congratulations, you guys hit level 4, it gives 1,800 XP. Oh. 
Does that really give us the point? I thought it was like 900. It's 1,800? Yes, that's why I was like, do I really just... just I mean, you guys yeah. level four. You all get four thousand. You all get one thousand eight hundred. Oh, I'm not level four. You are. Yeah, you are. Nine sixty plus one thousand eight hundred. Oh, math. Let's go. Manage XP. And so you guys can continue your journey in long rest away from the corpse. Wait, no. I want to. I want to search the corpse. Uh, roll an investigation. First, I'm rolling a. Uh, you know, uh, guided. Okay. Yes. So, why right, fuck? That was a D4. It's upgrade so wizard D4. class. That's a D6. Are you fucking kidding me? I only increased Two. health by three. Okay. Can I look it up? Please. Uh, I, I will tell you in a second. I will tell you in a second, and I will tell you what the optimal strategy was. I got an 11. 11. You find 15 gold coins on him. That's more. That's I got. That's profit. Okay. And with that, you guys continue off on your journey. Long rest. Down the road. <laughs> and you guys can long rest. And that will be the end of the session. Okay. Not twelve. So will. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you exactly what the optimal strategy was for that fight. Do, do I end the video or do I end it before? End the video. 